I'm so used to the camera being right there. Yeah, Where is it now? It's, it's, it's There's right actually there. several yeah. angles. Yeah. There's one up your anus. So we're getting a full <laughs> pipeline. Anus. We're gonna. I've got that. pictures of that. I know. Already. They're in the car. We've already. We actually <laughs> talked about it the first time Sam That's was on right. the podcast. That's right. Oh yeah. yeah he couldn't poop. I want to see. Yeah, Cheers to your mm. colon. Cheers to colon. Cheers to your colon. Yay. Clink. Drunk drawer. Number three. All right. So open. This is our. This is our last drunk drawer. Uh, yeah, you've been on every drunk drawer we've had. Was he on both or just the no, one? No, he's been on only one. Who's on the first one? Mike Spillane. Mike. He was the one you came Throw in. away. <laughs> no. Oh. He's not even here. He's, not, he's not here. He might listen, though. Yeah. He's not going to listen. He's not going to listen. He's not going to no, listen. Throw away. Listen. Yeah. Mike Thomas will listen. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Other Mike. Mike. He does listen. Uh, so does. this is oh. going to be our last drunk yeah. drawer yeah. in this yeah. setting. Uh, Josh, as we mentioned on a previous podcast, moving away forever. So we're celebrating him. With alcohol. Yeah. With Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare. You're worth it. 10 Thank year age. I appreciate that. It was like it's sat in a barrel for. It's not about the price, it's about <laughs> what it is. Right. And that is you money. It's almost. better than some $100 bourbon I've had. This is yeah. quite good. It's really good. I'm, I, it's, it's, very, good. it's very drinkable. Buffalo does a good yeah. job. Yeah. Very yeah. drinkable. They're one of the oldest. So, what you guys are being dropped into currently is we're having a, uh, a Keanu discussion. Uh, and I had just said that he's the best worst actor I've ever seen, and I'm going to use a Craig Brooks quote to back up my theory. More people because should. Because it was, I mean, when you said it, it was everything I've ever felt about Keanu in, in a statement. Mm. And it was simply just, everyone knows what his problem is. It's the talking. The reason John Wick 2 was better than John Wick 1 is because they let him talk with his hands. They were like, you're going to talk mm. less, and that's going to make it better. And I, it's true. I submit to you, my own private Idaho, I submit to you, devil's advocate. I'm a lawyer. That's what I do. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, you just supported my argument. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly. Private yeah. Idaho is different, but go I ahead. Keep going. Keep going. I you go up against Pacino. Any day of the week, and he did, and, and not he, and not try to rise to that right, ridiculousness. Right. Yeah, I mean, he did an oh, he does okay work. He does fine work. Before the show, I said he's in the same vein as a Nick Cage. Correct, but I think he's okay. above. Give him Cage. the right vehicle. Oh yeah, you give him the right vehicle, he will shine. But like Nick Cage, just weird choices all Peace. over. They, Peace. but they both make weird choices. So yeah. you can look at their careers, and there's a similar Where similar kind of like trajectory to it. I didn't mind it. He it was, was it wasn't as bad as you're saying, it was, but it was not good. It, he had a I just read this article about him too that I wholeheartedly agree with. Keanu's career comes in stages, right? Yeah. So you come with the early stage, the Bill and Ted, the point break. Private Idaho oh, falls right into that break. where he's trying yeah. to be serious. You go Johnny then into Dog. a second tier, which is his matrix tier. Yeah. He breaks the mold of what that's like, gonna be. Starting with speed through the Johnny Mnemonic era '90s up through Matrix, because that was like you're right. You have to break like those. You got to break those though, because Speed Johnny Mnemonic are great. S Matrix takes me up a whole nother level. Yeah, Matrix him. is another level, but of... not the third one. Only no, the, the first one, two. The third they one. only made two. They, right. People feel <laughs> yes. that way. It's not his fault that the writing was shit. It's I'm not. So it's bad. not his fault. We'll talk what, about shitty. What I'm writing saying is his career shows bit. you that huh. he. I don't. I'm not. I don't want to say he's a bad actor. That don't get me wrong here. No, there's there's I'm levels of his his popularity. There's levels of his ability. But yeah. if you want to know why I feel this way, I would encourage you to go to Redbox and rent replicas and try to get through it. Oh. Rough. Is it rough? Who else is in replicas? Uh, ooh. as far as other famous people, yeah, very there, few. There's there's people in it. I don't remember whom, okay. but. That's I, how bad it is. Sam doesn't remember. Yeah, yeah I know. So what, what <laughs> happened for just to bring this full circle from the pre-intro, the cold open yeah, that we did. It was a cold open. Yeah. It was a cold open. My wife and I had been talking. She's been a big Keanu fan for 20 years. So am I. I'm a big Keanu fan. Still am. But I've always told her, like, temper your love with him with knowing he's not a good actor. He's him and Nick Cage are in this bad good actor category where they can rise and it can become your favorite movie, but they also are all bad at their craft sometimes. Yeah. Now Pair this with we listen to Michael Rosenbaum's podcast, and he tells a very telling Keanu story about him being a weird, strange, on-set actor. They were in a movie together. Okay. So Mel listened to that, heard me, then we saw replicas. She she says to me, you ruined Keanu for me. I said, no, no, oh, no, no. No, I rose Keanu up because you'll see his greatness now. And then we saw Wick 3. She went, I get where you're coming from I now. think everybody, yeah, is allowed a pass. Everyone's for allowed sure. bad movies, paycheck oh, movies. for sure. 
Um, I love him though. I think. I, he, I, but no, I want to say I love him. I'm a fan. I've heard he so comes many, to MegaCon. I've heard so many for the weird, VIP. weird stories of him being just like just like an average boring guy and I he's think a that's good really person cool. too he's a good person. he has shown this with a lot of stuff he's done yeah so i don't mean this as a attack on keanu i'm saying he's one slight. of my favorite when he puts a movie out i'll see it i rented that shitty movie you know what i mean i'm gonna you know the re- movie keanu he was insulted. he was the voice of the cat he was insulted they didn't ask him they were like we didn't think you <laughs> would do it he's like i want to do it he did it and he did it he's apparently excellent in a movie that's on my netflix list i will get to it it's the ali wong i was just talking oh about yeah, yeah. I, watched I heard that, that last was night. i heard that was funny was he great in it? He was great. Don't tell me little, nothing, because I want to see it. He was he was very good in he it. He plays a fictionalized yeah. version of himself. Absolutely. He gets and the he, joke. He nails it. But yeah. he's also worth like four hundred million dollars because yeah. he made a very savvy financial decision with Matrix and Wick. Yeah. <laughs> so this is not a dumb person. No. This is a guy that's on another level. He probably did that twenty years ago to go, I want to make Bill and Ted three down the road <laughs> it's coming and we're getting it I wrote a treatment for Bill and Ted 3 it will never be as good as what's in my head because I had such a great idea I wrote it down and then they announced it and I went it's they're doing it they're doing it they're doing <laughs> right. oh Bill thing. and Ted 3 is actually oh, oh, yeah. oh 100% so when, when is that recording out? isn't it 100%, I, yeah, 100%. they just cast their it's... daughters the other day so they're they're actually filming right? Sam yeah. you opened something up that I didn't think you were gonna was that you talked about you writing a treatment yeah so I'm gonna ask a sensitive question sure because we're on a podcast, and oh. why not, right? Oh, my. Let's open all the wounds. It's a wound, but it might not be. No, oh. it, this might not be a wound. Oh. I want to know where you fall. Just pause real quick. For those of you listening, that sound was me ingesting bourbon, <laughs> not Buffalo Bill from Sons of Lamb. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, go on. No, this is real because we're not, I'm not as drunk as I will be in like 40 minutes. Right. True. Where I would be so a, excited very, for that. I'd be very attacky at that point. Yeah, yeah, no, I want to know. Poke, I poke. visited you. Uh huh. We've been friends for a long time. Oh yeah, I know where this the is going. The eight listeners know this, but I've never asked you this, and I figured why not do it in a public way? Right. You're friends with some people that people know their names. We're not. Gonna, I don't even need to say their names. Sure. But you went Stanley out there. Stanley Tucci. Right. You're very close <laughs> to Stanley Tucci. Me and the Tucci. They tip touch. I fucking love they tip touch. Tucci. <laughs> you worked on some stuff. Yeah, I want to know: Did any of that work go into some of the stuff that we've seen greenlit, Detective Pikachu, and some other things from some people you, you know? Are you asking like the jokes that I wrote or something like that? I'm well. What I'm wondering is because you're one of the funniest people I've ever met in human well, thank existence. You. You're quite funny. You're Thanks, guys. you're just been a, you've been a good friend. I'm, to I'm me. waiting on you. You're very funny. Thank no, you. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You were you waited too long. Yeah, it was like an eight-second delay, but it's I okay. I didn't want to. I didn't want to interrupt the flow. No, no, no. Like for that compliment flow. to be real, you'd have had to come, come in. On. You're also really hey. pretty. You're That's so funny. funny. Thanks, man. And so pretty. No, that no. is sincere. I feel it. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're real friends, right? Unlike this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the new. Unlike Mike. anyone else. <laughs> News Blaine, we Fuck. found him because you you Skate really goat. have been one of the the funniest people I've ever met. You know some people that have had some Hollywood successes right. that you've it's worked taken directly a while, with. But yes, and I'm glad for them. I, right, I'm right. glad for them, and I, I only met them one time. I actually met Dan. I oh, met yeah. some of these people. But what I was wondering is, do you is any of you in any of that, or it was a different project? Or oh, that, well, that for, no, no, no. Okay, no. I didn't know. The only thing that I have had like a hand in was I did. Uh, I went out for the pilot for 1600 Pen on NBC. Oh, for real? Um, okay, right. Josh. I, I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was on that. Yeah. I did some punch-up. There was up. like four episodes of that. There was a whole season of it. I think eight aired. Right. Um, that was before he broke as Olaf and a right. couple other things right. that happened. He's mm-hmm. been very close friends with some pretty successful people. Um, He'll yeah, still yeah. always be Bear Claw to me. He, I don't bear care Oh, he's Bear Claw. <laughs> yeah. I did, uh, I I did some punch-up on that. I didn't end up... It got my friends, Dan and Benji, the job uh to work on that show and then subsequent tv shows and now they did detective pikachu what, what is punch up punch up is when they bring you into a room and basically uh everyone goes all right uh page 34 we need a better joke for this se- sequence it's not funny enough like yeah. oh, and then okay. they source it to like people so, and writers and gotcha, i gotcha. i josh did that to me as like a favor because he like really wanted he he wanted me to work i was going through a lot of like stuff at the time myself and uh i had sort of some sickness in the family and this that and the other so i didn't uh end up staying for that but it got dan the job and benji subsequently the job too um we had a blast doing yeah. it and i 
did some things. I, I, I made some jokes in that room that made it into the pilot I'm proud of. Uh, Dan and I wrote some jokes like at 2 in the morning. That's cool. I didn't in. know that. Oh, I yeah. So that, that was cool. Uh, my name is nowhere to be found on that. But that's, <laughs> but I don't care. Very like, that's rarely. Not why I did the punch-up guys don't always right. get the cred. Right. Punch-up is this small sector of it where you're not the main, like, credited writer. Right. They'll bring you in. You're like the second tier. They need you because these jokes are flat. Right. And then you pump them up. There would be, but the thing that drove me crazy, and Dan and I, uh, there would be people in the room that were writers on shows at the time, staff yeah. writers. They'd be like, they'd say things like, I know a joke should go here, but I don't know what. Right. We'd be like, why Why do you even open your mouth? Like, <laughs> you just contributed nothing. Okay, so let's think of something. Like, you just well, wasted oxygen in yeah. this room. Well, where this question came from is I saw Pikachu. What'd you think? Because I, 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 I actually really liked I it. I did too, and I have really no attachment to Pokemon. I thought it was great. Me neither. I yeah. don't do Pokemon. It was funny. It was relevant. It was very cool. And then... There was torture. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I thought that was great. I thought it was awesome. But I knew I knew the names. And right. And I had seen... You know these guys. You went to high school with them. You're personal friends with them. Oh, I like, I, and I like beaches cried when I saw their name in the credit. I was like, how uh -huh, cool uh -huh. is that? <laughs> yeah, it's great. But I still, did you cry? Tell me where yeah. that cry came from. Was it from a place of you're super happy? Oh, totally but happy. Are you a little bit... I never feel that. Okay. No, and that's and that's really people ask me that I'm all the time. I'm impressed by that. I'm I've impressed gotten by that. used to answering that question, which is, are you like jealous that your friends are doing that? I'm like, yeah. no, fucking, they're, they're I great. I didn't even mean the word jealous. I meant like, but is you, there I like see, guilt is it or bitter, like, bittersweet? Is it a bittersweet? Feeling? It's not even. There's no bitterness. No, like, he was there. He was in yeah. L.A. He was working. It's I, just before it all popped. I came to. I came to grips with that like and it's here's the thing it's not like set in stone it's not done i could always it's absolutely not always done keep, I am that was my follow-up by I, the way i do i do some work uh every now and then i'll just try and put something down on paper pat and i we've thrown the we, idea we around to doing it we, we, will, we will we will we um, will well no that was my follow-up because yeah. the reality is when all of them do better yeah and you are legitimate friends with them not casual weather friends with them they're real life friends yeah the opportunities are only getting better. I mean, I've seen. So, the how does that play in his mind? Of Josh's Harry Potter, and he should be ashamed. <laughs> that was a, was he a bad Harry Potter. Yeah, it was terrible. It was oh, a no. last-minute uh, costume Halloween. We were going to the gala at LACMA, the Los Angeles Art Museum. They had like a gala, and I'm like, I don't know what a gala is. So I threw together it's a gala. A, a gala. You pronounced it wrong. <laughs> we, we went to like the peon. The, anyway, um, Hollywood, like on Hollywood Boulevard, there was like, like a Halloween store. We went there. We just grabbed costumes, and he grabbed a Harry Potter costume for adults, and I put a name tag, like a hello, my name is, and I wrote Harry, and he was Harry at his 25th high school yeah, reunion. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's all falling I, away. I did, uh, I just threw together clothes that happened to look like Daniel day Lewis's costume in There Will Be Blood, and oh, just did yes. that impression all night. I drink your milkshake. Yeah, all freaking <laughs> I drink it up. Yeah. I love that. It Mel, was just like, Mel we, hates that you movie. Went, that movie. You should have went with your walk-in. It's, it-'s much stronger. It's, it is good, but- walk in so good. I, that, I love that- I like the Daniel Day Lewis. It was fun. I got to wear a mustache all night, which <laughs> hung on towards yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywho, uh, no, I don't feel any. Uh, I feel only like pride and and. and That's what I was hoping yeah. because I think the opportunity for you is actually still very there. And I don't even think of it in those terms. It's kind of like when your friend has a kid. You're not like, man, I should have had a kid. I just like I'm happy. Some for people the, feel that some way. Some people feel that way. Some people, people feel, that feel that way. That's unhealthy. I don't. Um, <laughs> that is not the way to bring a kid into this world. The listeners at home don't have a kid. Uh, because your friends are having kids. Don't have a kid. <laughs> no, but, you don't people, have a kid. but you don't feel like people do that, though? No, they totally do. They totally do. That's not a good feeling to ever hold on to. No. Just like that I want to do the thing that my friends okay. are doing. Okay, so, switch, switch angles. Does it drive you? Is, that was, it, something ooh, that, yeah, I was is it something that you're, you look at that and you go, I can do that? Um, sometimes. Not not because of them. Maybe I, not Detective Pikachu type of thing. No, but when like, I see my friends do stuff, I get like I get really pride. Uh, proud and happy. Oh, when as I, you should. As when you I should. see shit, that drives me crazy, and I'm like, it's out of a place of anger. Then I'm like, like shit that someone else did. Or correct. That, yeah. They, like, yeah, not that they when did. When bad oh, okay. stuff gets greenlit, it, it will it will do that. This oh yeah, yeah. Such a good segue. Like, you can do because yeah. he's a content it is. creator. It's a great right? segue. Such a good segue. Uh, oh my god, look at that. Uh, there's a there's a good segue. <laughs> that guy Bye. on that wheelie thing. <laughs> segue. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I got you it. Fucking got oh, it. gotcha. The, see, the best jokes are explained. 
can I don't keep, know if you guys are aware of that. Can, can you keep going? Yeah, I can keep doing it. So, <laughs> in order so for the you segue to was created. Get <laughs> you have to be told why it's funny. Why it's funny. How hard you're supposed to laugh, and then a little bit of that. <laughs> oh, I get it now. We're going to put subtitles on this, too, to really drive it home. <laughs> All right, so let's let's transition then. This is a segue picture. Uh, no. <laughs> Please, in post, if, put fucking somebody on a segue. segue. Oh, yeah. Going. oh, yeah. It needs to happen. So, speaking of terrible writing, Game of Thrones. Whoa. Right. Whoa. 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 Disagree. Last, last season was not good writing. I... I don't agree I don't with think you. It was bad I'm with, no, I'm with Pat. I'm with Pat. I think, I think we're, it was bad I think we're split on this. I think it was room. very. I think it was You're very wrong. Lazy. I don't. Okay. It was so, rushed it was writing, rushed. not bad writing. Yeah. That is one and the same. Nope. No. No. no it disagree. isn't. Nope. No. I it disagree. isn't. Here's, I, here's why I'm mad. I'm mad because it is so obvious that these guys were like HBO went to these two dudes and were like, "You guys want to take as long as you need." And they're like, "Oh, we were promised Star Wars." So correct. I, I've been saying that for I've been saying that for a while. That's a thousand percent what happened. Now. Disney wrote them a check and it did not have a number on it. It was oh an empty God. check and they said, we're giving you three Star Wars movies. So the budget for that, as we know from what movie budgets are now, is between 500 and $800 million. So why? Of you course. Could buy, you could buy like a lot of gummy worms for that. They're not motivated. <laughs> Their motivation was changed, right? Yeah. So they kept I mean, the intent yeah. of what the ending was going to be and they... They, they just read through it. They, they, it was like a Mad Lib, basically. They were like, this is where we need to get. How do we get here? All right, guy in a coat. What is his name going to be? I don't know. Like, I don't have as many problems with it as you do. I'm not. I don't have. I wouldn't say I have problems. I enjoyed it in the yeah. sense of like, I liked watching it. I think as visually, it was still stunning. They didn't cheap on that. The, no, the Okay, so it on also that. spoilers. Just so if you haven't watched any Game of Thrones season eight. Cersei eight, died. Eight, yep. Eight. Jamie died. Bran won. What? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't everyone win? No. no. Nobody. Won. <laughs> Nobody. Won. I was Good night, happy. Everyone. I got validated, but that was just me the, and the, the few people that felt that Bran was important got of, validated. Yeah, but he was not. In, he, was wait, not he was not written important. No. I, For the in, last. Well, are you talking a, books? Or are you about, talking? No, no. In the movie, in the show, in the show, I would, I would disagree with that. Bran was about as interesting as his namesake, as like Raisin Bran. Like, yes, it's good for you, but you don't want that. Nobody wants. It's gonna make the poops better. What if I like Raisin Bran? I love Raisin Bran. I love that cereal. I'm just saying, like the Bran part, you don't like the raisins. You like. I still think it's a full circle. It's it's he's oh, Bran yeah. the Broken until he fixes King's Landing, and then guess what his name is? Bran the Builder. Bran the Can't Walk. <laughs> <laughs> the Bran the Bran the Ow Stairs. Bran that comes with his Bran own. Bran the rung. Carry Me up the stairs. <laughs> but the, the the last season or two. Bran that so keep rushed. flapping it, keep flapping it. It's not hard yet. <laughs> God. <laughs> I don't think it will be. No, I, I, I heard it's if you... It's broken now. It's broken. No? It's no, Sansa out. was like, he can't have kids. And he was like, nobody asked you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you going to throw me under the bus like that? Really? Hey, everybody. We just I... lost, we lost all our paraplegic listeners. Yeah, they're gone. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I so feel So, we're like, not drunk yet. No, not That's crazy. I might Episodes be. Episodes one and two... <laughs> Episodes one and two could have been one episode. Condense that. Yeah. True. It, it was, was like, it was but three was good. Was of, three, was I thought, was good. Everyone's problems with the lighting and the close Shut up, idiots. I liked it. I no, thought that was it great, needed to be dark. It needed I to be it was, like, it was gritty. It was real. I, I liked thought it was it. their second or third best battle. Like, Battle of the Bastards was way better. Yeah, yeah, Battle of the Bastards. Um, but I thought, like, at that point, I'm like, all right, let's see what they got. People were starting to, like, be like, I don't know. I'm like, shut up. It's fine. And then four. And then five. And I, I like, didn't like four happening? as much. What's going on? Four was like. Four was definitely a letdown. Was it that, was like you was were going off. Jamie went back. No, no, nope, no, that was five. Yeah. Five? five, I think he that goes back. Five. He leaves in five. I know yeah. five, five. He also got released. Four starts with the party with the, the Starbucks cup. Right. Oh, okay. Four starts with like everybody being like, "Hey, we're drinking." And I'm like, "We're this still is alive. Fun. We're still alive." This is I like, great. I like f- that part of four. I did too. That and part's then it just fun. St- then it starts to get very middle mm-hmm. school. Then it's like, "Don't tell anyone." Oh my god, we're still not gonna tell anyone that you're, you know, a uh, Targaryen. Oh my right. God. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, <laughs> guess what? He's totally a fucking Targaryen. So in <laughs> right. episode, I think it was five when when it was. I think it was talking to you in the office. We had the light bulb moment that like. 
Varys was trying to poison Daenerys. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh shit!" Oh yeah, he was. For me, no the payoff. best. The no they, they, zero. They, they missed that. His his death was a big miss, by the way. For me, as a fan, right. yo, that they, dragon head coming out though was the coolest scene. Well, again, I but you said this earlier. Visually, was, I don't think awesome. anyone should so have a complaint cool. about season eight. No. Visually, very attractive. They were doing cinematic shit that was cool. Yeah. Even the raising of King, King's Landing was visually great. They missed on giving me like character backstory that yep. I wanted to get to there. And people's argument is like, oh, well, they gave you seven seasons of Danny losing her mind. No, they didn't. No, they, no, they didn't. didn't. They rushed it at the very end. They, they did. Showed, That's true. They, they, they definitely set the building blocks. She In every season, she burns some place or some group of individuals. True. Yeah. In, in their entirety. Yeah. But they but, do not. Their, their foreshadowing was so gentle on her. That I understand why they people did are upset it, yeah. about it. They did it on the last time on Game of Thrones. They did it in yeah. one of those yeah. segments where it's like she's like standing there and they just hear the oh, so, 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 so. right yeah. all the crap behind her. And you're like that. Well, yeah, I mean, all the things happening. that triggered her madness at the end happened in season eight, yes. or right. season seven to right. season eight. Yeah. Right. So we needed time to see her kind of slip into that. That's madness. why I, it I, was it, all the whole thing was like, hey, remember when that thing happened? Right. Like she she wasn't eating. It'd just be crying. We right. didn't see that her not the, eating. She yeah. just wasn't eating. That's why I'll say rushed rather than just straight up bad. Because a yeah. lot of people are saying it's bad writing. They're missing. There were there were gems in there. There were good things. There were certain characters got but, validated, but. but if you're ru- if you're rushing for the sake of rushing, that's not a good thing to. Do. That's like not good mechanics. But was there a way to end it, even if you were doing ten episodes, another whole season, with something as polarizing as this became? Was there a way that everyone was going to be happy? I would argue no. No, I definitely would say, not. I would say the way it ended, I have no problem with. I loved. Me too. Everything yeah. about episode. I, I didn't loved like everything who, about the. I love the ending of. The last episode. I loved it. I loved seeing where everyone ended up. Mm-hmm. Made me happy. Everything came full circle. It's just how we got there. The pack did, survived. Did John say fuck it? Did John say fuck it? Yeah. No, did, he, no that was he, the plan. I, I think that was the plan. John is Sansa a raised the person. Gate. Sansa ordered the gate be raised then closed behind him so he could no. go off and just be king of the north. Correct. Yeah. King of, he's be king beyond the wall. He's king beyond the wall. That's a weak character. Hines now. He couldn't win. He could yeah. not win because he made bad decisions. Yeah. They well, were showing you that decisions. people that made bad decisions can't win. Half of his lines were, you're my queen. The other half of his lines were, I don't want to be king. He, st- he stopped making decisions in yeah. season eight. That's what I mean. Like, he's he was a, never... A lot of people that got that's behind... That's bad writing. When, you're a, when, you, when you make your character that's been pretty good for seven seasons, you make him a dope. Ooh, well, I, I, I don't that think he was pretty... Tyrion was an idiot at the end of by the Tyrion end of that series. Tyrion made bad choices. Everyone was making bad choices at the well, end of at the right, end of that. But they Tyrion were was a they were showing character. you this journey yeah. of like, okay, you get choices, right? You get to make choices in life, and when you make bad ones, a couple things can happen. You either have to go make your own way in the world, and that's the king beyond the wall, right? Or Tyrion becomes the hand, which is not a promotion for him. Here's here's bad he writing. Wanted. Here's bad writing. Ready? I, I, Did he though? I don't. Well, there's so okay. Oh, that's what he wanted. Who we were talking about, John? Tyrion. No, Tyrion. Tyrion. Oh, Tyrion. John got what he wanted. Tyrion yeah. did not. Tyrion did not. Well, yeah, I guess his family all died. So yeah. Didn't uh, that. Bad writing. Bad writing is when when Tyrion starts to talk and Grey Worm goes, "You don't speak." And then Tyrion goes, "Forgive me, but I'm going to give a monologue now, and everyone's going to listen to what I have to say, and then we're going to go with what I say." And it, it yeah. went on for like ten minutes, and after he said, "You don't speak," and he spoke for a long right. time, and there was no <laughs> conflict to get him to speak. Either. Right. It was just like it was like if I may. Also, how, no. <laughs> how's Grey Worm going to be like, oh, John's a prisoner, and then he like sees him walk by, and he's like, see there you were, later, bro. Okay, so there were two, there were two things that could have made that episode. They should have fought. They should have had a... You needed to see, at the end of it, you needed to see the Dothraki and the Unsullied off and wherever, forming a new army. Yeah. Like, and you should have seen Drogon with eggs. What to set up for Because freaking, or just anything, yeah. Just any tag on the end of it. Bran being like, uh, let, me, let me take care of it. Let me find Drogon. And oh, no. Nothing. I, I will they say that the wrap-up was weak. Because, yeah. yes, he took Drogon takes Daenerys' body and goes. Drogon hates pointy chairs. But all, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, chair. You killed my mom. Ah! <laughs> you didn't like that part. <laughs> nah, it was fine. It looked cool. It, looked it did cool. look cool. It did look cool. It I, just came out of. It was again. It was like so. That quick. was. So I is don't it that know. because he was Jolmas Targaryen? Drogon would not kill him. I yeah. guess. That's exactly I guess. what it is. Yeah, okay. that's, that's he is. He can smell that he's does. Targaryen. Knows that Targaryens have massive infighting. They have over their three hundred year history on the throne. 
The problem for me it felt it, very mini chlorian. Oh <laughs> damn! I went That's there. Nice. That's oh nice. damn! Yes. Yeah. Wait, not him, not burning John. Well, felt him being like, I smell you. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's I a can context. Smell I, your, I can yeah. smell your. There's a power bonds. level uh, yeah, thing yeah, he's yeah, feeling. Yeah. I like over nine thousand. <laughs> there was the part of me that loved Drogon melting the throne, and there's the part of me that's like, wow. They ran out of things to do to show how quickly they wanted to wrap this right. up. Right now, no one sits on it. Yeah, right. They did it quickly, and we were out of episodes. Well, Brand has his own chair. Right. He's a. He's a he so you won't it convince with me him. off. Brand deserved it because. No, I think that's fine. But like, there are so many people that have better story. Of like, when he says, "Who has a better story than Brand?" Well, so everyone, many people. Everyone has. A story <laughs> so many people. I, uh, I liked because the, they dropped the ball on like giving Brand better exposition throughout like. That's four, five but, no, no, that's half. true. Bad that's true. Writing. But if you, be, but that speaks to bad writing earlier, earlier than what you're saying. Yeah, they didn't. That's source material. Think, bad yeah, writing. That's, that's, bad, that's bad showcase. They dedicated so much time to this three-eyed raven and what Bran was supposed to be. That when in episode three the Night King died and there wasn't the, all the theories that Bran was the Night King and all this, all that had to fall away. People were like, "What? So what? Does Bran even matter?" And then four and right. five, they really didn't fuck with him very much, right? On purpose to give you this massive yeah. reveal that would have been better had there been more episodes. Yeah, yeah. I think. Well, and that's you okay. can't you can't fault them, in my opinion, Weiss and Benoff, because I I read somewhere I can't remember where I wish I could so I could cite it, but they asked George R. R. Martin, they were like, how long? Do you? They they went to him and they were like, how much longer do you think it would take to wrap this up, nice and neat, nice little bow? Make it the way we, we Don't started Don't ask it. him about any he, duration he, of time. He said that. He's five like... years. Yeah. You but... can't ask these guys to give five no, more years. No, but not five years, but like more than six episodes. This show I broke with TV. This show changed what a TV show could right. be. And it's unfair to look at it through the same lens as we're like, remember how mad people were? When Sopranos ended, yes, everyone seems to forget yeah. that that was a very polarizing ending. I love, and that now ending. it's the number one show ever, according to Rolling Stone and yeah. Complex and this and that. Game of Thrones' ending will taste better in ten years. I hope it, so. I, I think, think it will. I think, I, so. think it will. I think the seven seasons leading up to this were worth it. I think the ride was what's important. Cor- like, yeah, oh, I no, I, yeah, I'm I with you on yeah. that. I don't have any, any. Think about how much you, how much mileage you've gotten from that show. But and... they changed what a TV show could be. Oh, for sure. They changed what the production on a TV show could be. I don't know if you dabbled in the documentary that came oh after God. the week after. I haven't seen it. Yet. No, it was no, so it. cool to see them build King's Landing and then have the wherewithal. They built the destroyed version. And then built the full version over it, yeah. so they can take oh, it down. Okay, so cool. Like you don't think of these things. You don't think of what right. it takes to produce a show like that. A lot that. of practical stuff. I mean, a whole department. Yeah. They had forty thousand, and not weapons. one person. Like not, that's a stupid number. So like I can't. And not that. one person to be like, remove that cup. <laughs> that's a bummer. Get and that water, water bottle. bottle. <laughs> you know what? I would say that's the editor because that's, you, yeah, that, you know it's so the editor many because there's happen. forty takes of everything. Yeah. So it's the editor taking the wrong take. Yeah. That well, cup- and it's clearly easy to take it out because they did it immediately Both afterwards. Times. Right. Both Correct. Times. They chose a different take, where Danny looked this way instead of that oh, way. I thought they just digitally edited it out. I'm well, sure there's have, a mixture they have of both. Forty takes of every single thing. Yeah. Like every scene you see is taken from multiple angles. It's a multi-shoot kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So they have ways to do that. It's just somebody either got rushed or got lazy you for know, the water bottle and the coffee cup. You know it's a, it's a, it's a thing. You know it's a, it's not just a flicker in time. You know no, it's like it's a, a cultural, cultural phenomenon. You know oh, yeah. that because when you're seeing other stuff, you go, hey, look, it's Bron of Bron Blackwater. He was freaking master of coin in John Wick 3, which was so funny. I know. I, really? I love he was, that. He was the, like, the, yeah. the continental, the assassin's He was the guy master of coin. You know, Mark making the coins. But yeah. like the I was watching a one. BBC oh, docuseries yeah. from like 2004 on uh, Wyatt Earp, and here comes Wyatt Earp. And, not what? Was it Wyatt Earp? Who is that? Um, Wyatt Earp's the old, the Wyatt old, uh, old cowboy. Old gunslinger. Western. Yeah. I think played was, in Tombstone, played by Kurt Russell. Yeah, it was Wyatt Earp then, yeah. And it was freaking, uh, it was Davos. I'll be your huckleberry. And I was like, freaking Davos, Davos Seaworth. My students are like, don't know who that is. <laughs> well, a lot of the Game of Thrones actors were in yeah. Harry Potter. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, I don't even mean it like that. To me, the show still stands as, it's my favorite television program. Of all time, because of what they did, and they changed what TV is going to be moving forward. Well, yeah, I'm budgets are more changed excited forever. For Lord of the Rings, Amazon. Here's the thing: I'm excited about that. Is that a good thing? Are we? Because I feel like it's just 
you're gonna get your your expectations are so high now for every show that it's gonna it's well it's not Game of Thrones and if it is now people feel that need like Westworld is so just grand and do this like Lord Westworld, of the Rings though. is so grand it's well, such a huge I mean, undertaking they've done it with Chernobyl from what I've heard I Fucking haven't sat crazy. down and watched it yeah yet. neither have I I didn't watch uh, it yet but, either but, but I've heard I will. That it's fantastic because I needed a break. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I these shows right. are so, so big, I have so to, heavy. Yeah, I got to push off HBO for a couple of weeks. I'm on to Netflix. I'm doing food. Although docs Barry was great, if you haven't watched Barry, I, I've not. Dude, oh, so fucking good. My Is God. it really? I got yeah. through the first couple episodes and it didn't do anything. It for keeps me. It going. Yeah, it didn't I, do anything. I was, I was, I was the right headspace to watch it. Yeah, because it's it's a dark action. That's but my it, problem. Like is I wasn't in the right space for it. I watched like the first two or three episodes and I was like, same thing. You will you will fall in love with the character Noho Hank. Oh, he's so funny. He's so good. That actor is incredible. And I can't. I love Hater. I'm surprised I didn't yeah. resonate quicker. Because he's not Bill Hater. He's not Bill Hater in that. No. You know? He's so far removed there, from that. There is an episode. Have you, have you caught up? I'm on the finale of season one. Okay. There is an episode in season two that it's like a departure from the entire show. Like they just do like a break from the, the series and do like a one off episode. That is one of the funniest things mm. I've ever All seen. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I take your rec. I'll go it back is, for it. I. My wife stared at it like, why is this funny? And I was bell- like, bowled over <laughs> laughing, tears streaming down my face. Um, it's There's just a lot of karate. I do like people karate. getting kicked in the throat. It's um, it's great. It's right I up your alley. Throat. You're kicked from here to here. I'm yeah, in. yeah. I'm in. <laughs> Any kicks from here to here, I don't give a shit. If you're kicking me in the chest, that doesn't do enough it's, damage. It is, but I like... So HBO does that thing where they do like the behind the episode after everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so the Game of Thrones ones were always like, "Here's what we meant to do." Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I would, I would, those would drive me crazy because if you didn't watch them, you missed like yeah, you missed all the percent of the, the intent, episode. You're like, wait, intent, that's what yeah. they were trying to do? Oh shit! <laughs> and then you're like talking to your friends the next day. Did you guys watch the? Bo-? You didn't watch the behind the episode. That's why you. I was understand. desperate. Craig, to Craig tell has people, said that to me so many times. Yeah, I was desperate so to tell people times. like, if you don't watch the behind. You missed eight other things, but it was That's because... That's not good writing. I'm not <laughs> defending the writing. I know, I know. I'm defending that I still think the show deserves its place. It will It, it will. Does, it has it. It has yeah. it. It will hold its its place in the mm. pantheon The writing in the last season does not match anything they did before. They moved on. I feel like... Yeah. So you're going to put it on a pedestal in, in years to come. You're going to talk about like Cheers, The Simpsons, M.A.S.H., Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, Sopranos. You're going to talk about all these shows and like Seinfeld. the popular Le- Seinfeld. Speaking Mad of, Men. speaking of Seinfeld, Mad Men in that. when in Game of Thrones, when they have the table, or like the high table, and they're showing like you know, Davos and and Braun and everyone, and they're all talking and cracking jokes at each other, and it starts to slowly pan out. I'm like, this would be perfect if this went. <laughs> It was That'd have been good. so yeah. sitcom-y, like, oh, look who's here. Oh, don't get up for the gag. It was just so <laughs> shitty. It was just like, <laughs> it just felt so, like, I was waiting for all of them to wink at the camera, like, get it? I don't know how to read. Did you like the ending? <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I don't have? Fingers! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> then Larry David comes yeah. out. <laughs> Am I supposed to be here? <laughs> what are you doing? Anyways, um, that show's coming back. I didn't. It think is. He, I, didn't, I am way I didn't think behind on that. I show. didn't think he would do it. Oh yeah, they yeah. they he backed up like a truck. Kind of. I mean, he's very rich. They're, it, they're bringing him back. Yeah, he's Curb's so coming back. Okay, Curb got another season. Even though last season was supposed to be the last season, it's not. Oh yeah, That's and I do. I support that show. I love if it. If you even remotely thought Seinfeld was funny, Curb's on a different level because it's adult themes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I've, crazy I've, I've good. seen the first. Four seasons. I oh, think, I'm I'm all seasons. the way caught. I'm, yeah, I've just, only I seen it off. sporadically, and I've never really like watched even a full season. But that's like one my wife and I have decided. Oh, thank you, ice service. Ooh, that's one of my wife even and I have decided we need to just go back and just. Be Mel it. also will reference Curb. Yeah, will reference great. Curb and other actors, actors and actresses that kind of. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 I had an extra one for me. My fingers. Yeah, were Curb is great. In bad places earlier. <laughs> oh my. Uh-oh. Why is it always good to be your butthole? It's actually pronounced bethole. Bethole. <laughs> Goli. <laughs> bethole. <laughs> oh, my. Um, I don't know. I think the the entirety of the show, like, as a piece, as if you look at Game of Thrones... As Body a whole, of work. Body of work, great. Good. Great. Yeah. I, I, will, I will absolutely concede on that point. Um, I had 
lot of vitriolic discussion with friends about yeah. the yeah. ending. Same. I just didn't like That's people, a little bit of the fun. People yeah. that were were poo-pooing it three episodes in, they were you, like, you it's gotta not... Take, I, you gotta take it all in. Right. Yeah, it needs to be... You can't poo-poo that prematurely. No, because you... Poo-poo you now and you have a right to. Yes. Mm-hmm. You wanted someone else to win or you didn't like this, you didn't like that. Oh, cool. I was... Here's what's weird. I realized in thinking, I was never concerned with who won. I was only concerned with who lived. See, I wasn't on and either obviously of it. some people that needed to die. I didn't care yeah. who won. I didn't care who lived. Yeah. I wanted an ending. I wanted to know what happened Night King. Like Night King brand, that whole... That was a miss. A lot of dropped, yeah. That's what I oh, things uh, like that a were dropped. big miss between whatever relationship would have been there. We can only theorize or try to go down a stupid rabbit hole that we shouldn't. No. On what that relationship was. Yeah. They absolutely missed on it. I'll... Mm. I'll one of my yeah, students yeah. that. One of my students had the greatest question of all, and I not, just was like, I don't know. He says, "Was it Earth?" And I went, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Sure, it's shaped mm, like it's, it's the it is the War of the Roses from history, but it's not, so it could be. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They did weird things, like they threw a couple nods to the fantasy genre, a yeah. couple nods to Lord of the Rings, Tolkien, all these things. And then they missed so many other things that we were just left like, I had to look at it through the lens of, I was a Bran fan Mm -hmm. from early on. You know, I was speaking the truths of, he has to matter, he has to matter, why would they spend this time? And then he did. So for me, for the small group of us, I'd say there's only less than 20% of the fans that were on that Bran train were like, I got validated. I got validated with what I was feeling. But there's 80% of the people that were thinking that doesn't match their vision of it. There were 40% of the people that actually thought Danny should win. Mm-hmm. Then another 40 that were on either John, Sansa, or Arya. And to me, that didn't make any sense. When you say 20%, it's really 10% because he's half a person. Stop it. <laughs> His PB doesn't work. It's 7%. Well, that's not confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> You're really stuck that's on just this. That's just headcanon. <laughs> I, see, I I thought it was going to be a small council, and I I kind of feel like I was validated because that's really Brand's going to be an absent king. 100. percent He said that. Yeah. I'm going to go warg out. Yeah. And try to figure out how to fly dragons. You guys do this. What's you, that about? Like they again. didn't do. Good Where did on he that. go? They, Where did he go in the ba- in that battle? Too many. Well, to the ravens. If we want it. If we were to talk about but things, he was like, they I'm left a out. night king. They Whoop. left out and the ravens. What? They left out the journey with him. They left out what the horn was. The the horn that supposedly could call dragons. Was horn. That yes, was years that was ago. In season they, two. They made oh, a, yeah. They found a, a, a horn beyond of, the wall. So stupid. Why leave crumbs like that if you're not going to come back to it? But I will say that they did other shit. <laughs> it would be great if it just ended with that. I want that segues ending. Segues into the next season. Well, now I curve. fucking hate the show because no. they didn't like that. We're gonna make a cut. Uh, right it'd be great if it actually show. segued into Westworld. That'd be somehow. But I like Westworld. I do too. A lot. Or if they like one of the guys just goes and program, and they, everyone in the show just freezes, and you're like, West no! yeah. Synergy. Westworld figured out that Branding. Game of Thrones season one and two thought they were on to this nudity, kind of like let me give them a certain percentage of nudity, and then they went away from it for like yeah. five seasons. Westworld went. All in. Do you know what oh, I appreciate? Give me titties, give me flaccid dicks, and I am watching that show. Do you know what I appreciate about Game of Thrones is is that is honestly it's like they're not like let's get like buxom beauties in here. Nope. Like, it's just like let's get what people look like when they're new. Let get let's, normal fucking let's, bodies. Let's real quick to to go back to to stick on this topic. Yeah. Theon is going home. He's going back to the Iron Islands. He oh, has a God. prostitute who is maybe one of the ugliest women I have ever seen in my entire life. And I was like, this was good casting. <laughs> That's all I could think. I was like, Theon's ugly. Yeah. She's like, let me be your woman. And he's like, no. <laughs> and I was like, good job. I like this. Good job, everybody involved. HBO, you, you done did good. Could, she, there's got, is I want to see it. that tape of like that audition. Like, could you be uglier? <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh. You're really pretty. <laughs> We'll call you. How, We're how really looking for teeth. a homely that's individual. It's not, not enough. It's Can you turn enough. around? That's actually pretty nice, but you're going to have to leave. <laughs> yeah. We Sorry. need you not here. You're out. No triangle titties? I, We're not about I it. I actually play this. Titties. I play a game, actually, when I see like random things in movies. I'm like, God, I wish I could see that audition tape. And it's you, like for, like I don't know, like the guy that like gets his head lopped off. You know there's like a tape of other people going, no! And like <laughs> five of them didn't make it. You want to know why? Your no wasn't good. Your no was just <laughs> terrible. Actually, you don't have a good head. 
<laughs> you didn't come from a place of sadness. I need your life to be you're, worse. Your neck's so that you not can long be enough. It's not. It's not gonna do. That's it for actually. Me. That's actually why Barry is funny. Barry talks about like that world of people just auditioning terribly. Yeah. Um, there's some very funny stuff with that. And just the characters. I will so watch the show. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. It's just. It's. It's so down my list. I got. I go on oh, these cycles. So that segues nicely into. There's too much content. <laughs> There really is. That is content. Content. You're not right. Yes. But yes. I have to categorize, right? So right. there's days I want to watch movies. There's days I want to watch serial programming, right? Something that is going to move forward. Mm-hmm. My wife got me caught on Killing Eve, and I actually mm-hmm. really mm-hmm. liked it. What's that about? Killing Eve, The you will find yourself loving the villain yeah. okay. more than you love the, the oh, protagonist, like which is Sandra Oh, and she won a globe for it. She, I think she won an Emmy. Deserved all that because well, she she's great. The Emmys. Did she win oh, it? Maybe she didn't. She the may glo- have. She won the globe. Yeah. But the character of the bad person, the, her name's Villanelle. She has a couple names, but whatever. Mm, you will strong. fall in love. No, <laughs> yes, that's very unobtainium. <laughs> well, she has like a pseudonym. Well, the idea being that it's like <laughs> on the nose. That didn't work for me. They're called the Villanelle novels. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. No, they'll win you over. She's hot as fuck. She's great. You already got Crazy as fuck. You got me. But crazy in a way that's uncomfortable. Crazy, like in in that first episode where she's like, my my wife watches it a lot. What's the show about? It's about a- MI6 and a serial killer. British intelligence going after a serial killer assassin. assassin Who, and the the woman going after her, like the uh, Jodie Foster- Type character yep. becomes obsessed with her and like obsessed wants, with each other. They, you co- could they argue. become like you could argue yeah. they become obsessed with oh, each I saw, other. Okay, I so the assassin's lying, obsessed with who's blind. going yeah. after her, and the MI6 agent's obsessed with getting her. Right, but then doesn't want to put her away necessarily. <laughs> wants to understand her, and it's just there's like a mixture of sexual tension, crazy, and then the murders are fucking epic. Murders are good. Yeah, the murders are good. Yeah, the way she kills people are like she's a sadist. She's completely detached from yeah, reality. Correct. Her, her she does not. This is a know very good character. To Where can I watch the BBC show? America? BBC, yeah, it's BBC, on BBC yeah. America, which also has Luther, which you Luther's recommended. Great. I love Luther. Luther is DC great. Luther. Love that show. I will watch that show because I have BBC America now. Now Justin, now Justin. But I, I like, love that show. I like Idris. That's Idris Elba's right. incredible. Yeah. Elba's I know, but everyone on that Luther. show. I remember that. Everyone on that show is. You powerful. told me about Luther. You told me about Ray Donovan. So they're in the funnel. Yeah, the Ray phone. Donovan I also love. How about, let's do, as an exercise, love. let's go around. Let's talk about the things we're watching. That's always fun for people to listen to. Ooh, I'm... <laughs> I'm for the, but there's only seven listeners to this. That's so. true. Right, all of them will know what to listen to now. <laughs> it's because four of them are at the table? What? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I just started re-watching uh, the first few up, uh, seasons of Community. With Stupid. Great. Okay. Stupid. No, it's, a, it's an no, I actually like it. I just it's wanted to be combative. Show. I like Dan, it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan Harmon, the Bruce Brothers. I do like the show. So good. I heard that working Jeez. for Dan Harmon is. Awful. It has to be a nightmare. Oh, I really? It has to be. Yeah. There's no oh. way it's not. Well, he's talked about how all like all his issues. Yeah, that's true. He he has come out and said he's like I'm not a terrible from person. P.S. P.S. Interesting. Not from anyone I know that I've heard that. No, <laughs> I've it's heard from that Joshua Gad. <laughs> no, that's who has said no it. connection. Has Joshua to... Gad. Oh, do that. Gonna get in that's trouble. going in the text. <laughs> <laughs> from the seven people, you think it'll go on Twitter? <laughs> Things spread. Things spread. It's like a zombie movie. This not, episode will go good. viral because we said that Joshua Gad molested no, several children. What? <laughs> That's what you told me. I didn't say that. No, you I told was me. I wear several children. <laughs> <laughs> I wear, I I wear, perfectly I wear hats. True or false, I was in his house, uninvited. Uh, Apartment, true. True. Uninvited. Oh, well, I Bear invited claw. you, and you're not like a damn vampire. He didn't. Well, he was out of town. That's true. I was there. I touched some I things. Was, I, was, <laughs> I touched some of his I, belongings. Did you take stuff? I didn't, because okay. I'm not that he guy. He did. He I did. took a pen. I did take stuff. You took a pen. <laughs> if he says I did, I probably did. I mean, it, he he did that thing that Craig does where he like walks around and he's like, that's nice, and he picks it up and he goes, is this valuable? <laughs> Should I break this? Different time of my life, but, yeah. but like also the ago. same. I was in his house pre-Olaf. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's okay. a nice time to be. Because post Olaf, it's a mansion. You can't get in. It's right. dumb now. It's stupid. I bet. Yeah, but you he weren't allowed to go there. I want an office. You weren't, allowed, serious to, money you weren't now. allowed to go there. What he you was. You told he's, me. You were like, he's still allowed you were to like, go there. Oh, yeah. No, I, I went. Stay cause, like, I couldn't stay because his guest house was, was full with his, his parents. Yeah. Which is just funny. I was like, you were like, yeah, but yes. you're like, you're actual friends though. It's not. Yeah, he was like a groomsman in my yeah, wedding. Yeah, I know. That's oh my god. Almost. So true, not, but yes. True story. He made true it. story. So 
your your wedding. I, I recall this happening. Josh comes into town and he goes to be our guest mm-hmm. at Disney. My my biological father and I are not on good terms. We don't chat. Weirdly, often, neither frequently. is he's not with his either. He's oh, great. We should, you have that in common. We connection. Can, yeah, connection. meant to be friends. Meant to be friends. And we're both in the summer. <laughs> That's also in a connection. The, in the summer. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. I, I hear from my sister who works at Disney. She's like, oh, my God. So, I, uh, you know, mom and dad were here, blah, blah, blah. Like, Josh Gad showed up to uh, be our guest like an hour after we were there. And I was like, oh, he's here for my friend's wedding. And they were like, wait, what? what? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, he's going to be in Sam's wedding. And like, I the, uh, so he gets he I call him. You know, I'm just. Ch- I I had this. Do you call weird- him Bearclaw? You should call. No, him No, I don't call him Bearclaw. I had this weird <laughs> he, feeling. He, he doesn't call him that. I had this weird feeling. The claws like- are retracting. <laughs> so so Beauty he calls and the Beast- him sugar tits, but that's it. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast debuted the week of my wedding, and I was like, he's gonna be, he's gonna be busy. He's not. Gonna he's gonna be busy. Wedding. But I was so I was like calling him, just texting him, just see how, getting like a temperature reading to see how he's gonna be because he's in like London, he's in China, he's in Paris. He's I'm doing like- a promo for the yeah, like it's promo. yeah, but like the weddings really close i'm like how is this gonna work so he calls me like a week out g6 that's how it's gonna work (laughs) i see the phone vibrating and i see it's his you know name and i'm like oh my god here it is it's the call that he's not gonna that he can't make make it it. like the backstreet boys song so uh yeah like just like that i I dip outside i love that song i I duck out and i take it and he's like hey friend um listen I'm gonna be there. Oh, he leads with that because he that's knows. That's a smart lead. That's he smart, knows that yeah. that's a smart guy, he, right? He knows that's where he knows, my head's at. But he also that's how knows you know your guys are friends. Here's how I soften the blow. He says I can't make it to your engagement part. Uh, the the rehearsal the, dinner, not the rehearsal dinner, because he was gonna try and make it that. There was like a engagement Something party before thing that, the night yeah. before. Something that's stupid that your yeah. wife probably wanted and you didn't. No, can't he confirm her no, Sam, <laughs> Sam wanted it. So. I was like, that's fine. What's going on? He's like, well, they're flying me in. Disney's flying me in. I, I agreed I would go to Magic Kingdom and do the Be Our Guest thing uh, because they've been fl- they're have been they flying me in for yeah. your wedding. I'm like, all right, got to do that. You got to do that. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, and listen, the rehearsal's the next day at like one, but I get you're like globetrotting. You're going to be tired. So he's like, absolutely, absolutely. I'm, I'm going to be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. So he misses that. He goes to Be Our Guest. <laughs> He, no, but he told the, him he was going to miss. He told him. Right? No, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He misses. He misses. He the only thing missed I, the oh, thing okay, he okay. told okay. you he was going to miss. I thought you missed. No, no, no. He, says, he did not that's miss. That's how I heard it. Too. Correct. No, no. Yeah. Oh, no, no. He Hold only on. missed We're not the there thing. Yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> he says to me, "He's. I'll be at the rehearsal." So he goes to be our guest, and they make him sing "Be Our Guest." He like moments before he walks on to out to do the. Yeah, I, they're like, I, yeah. "Hey, d- you're going to sing 'Be Our Guest.'" He goes, "I don't." sing that song that's not my and, character and they're like and go and he didn't know the word so they just like shoved him out and he was like yes and he just basically figured it out as the song was going on around him yeah. oh that's, so that's the terrible. next day uh we have that the was rehearsal. you and mcgregor why did they do that right. to him how dare you they have the rehearsal we have the rehearsal you and had the high ground that's why yeah. always i trusted you <laughs> <laughs> the next day we have the rehearsal it's like noon I'm calling him. Ever, yeah. My wife is freaking out because, like, none of the groomsmen are there. You, Only the bridesmaids are yeah, like. Because you know famous people. And my parents are, like, not there. My parents are driving up. That's and a I'm different like, problem. Yes. I'm like, this is just a nightmare. <laughs> also a problem. Different problem. <laughs> different problem. So I get a hold of Josh, who's with my friend Rico, and they are both. Um, Suave? Well, no. Huh. They're both down by. They're staying down by Disney. And I said, like, so what's the deal? And, and Josh was like, I'm just so tired. I'm just so tired. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I just, I don't know. I'm like, hey, you you are fine. You just do what you got to do. I'll see you at the rehearsal dinner tonight. And he made it to the rehearsal dinner. Of course, he came in a suit where nobody else was in a suit, which was very funny. <laughs> Perfect. He got very mad at me. Um, but I get a call to Rico and he goes, oh man, Pandora was great. Pandora was great? He goes, yeah, Josh got us into Pandora. We went. He took... Four of my friends to Pandora, which Several wasn't of which were opened in the yet, party, yeah. which wasn't opened yet. Two of just the two of them were in there, and others were just friends. But I was like, "The fuck, you totally blew up." He goes, "No, I'm really tired." <laughs> <laughs> they it was were a totally, long day in Pandora. They were totally in Pandora a couple months before it opened. Nothing wrong with that. Um, nothing wrong with that because in in hindsight we laugh, right? It's funny, but we were just and so the moment. actual rehearsal doesn't matter at all you just no. gotta know where to stand where to walk but that's such an easy thing to in, get in the moment in the moment right, yeah right. like oh i stand behind You'll that one see. in front of that one. Oh, by the no, way we, we're not having a rehearsal yeah so. how are we gonna know where to stand <laughs> right you gotta know i think the rehearsals are dumb 
I really do. I think if you did it like the day of, you'd be like, well, the day of is so busy. That's why you do it. We're doing it the day of. I feel like it's a it's a way to We're going to show up at the there. chapel at 10 a.m. So okay, we're just going to figure it out. So you going to yeah. call in an audible. I have to. <laughs> This long. Yeah, it's been a long time, and he's a he's he's had a few more than us, I think. I has he? Know. He definitely Did has. He start before a thousand percent. Mm-hmm. I had a few before he came to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so famous people, is that this? This should not be where this podcast. <laughs> no, it's not going to go how it's how we're gonna. I've had not I've had direction. only a, a handful of run-ins. Um, some stories good, some stories. Uh, Exactly. Like when I met, I met George Lucas for like 10 seconds. That's pretty cool. I went to shake his hand and say like, hey, you've done such a great thing. You're amazing. And you know, do the, the, I nerded yeah, out. The fan thing. I nerded yeah. out. He looked at my hand and he said, okay. And <laughs> walked away. And I, I felt the darkness within me. You were like, I'm a Sith now. Like as it was, like, did you try and force bum, choke him as he walked away? Bum, were you like, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> and the, like it became dark around me, but Josh was there and Josh actually saved that moment. He went up to him later uh, and he went, you do the movie with the, <laughs> haven't seen it, heard good things and walked away. <laughs> he snubbed Lucas back for me, which was, that's friendship. Yeah, well, that's, that's true. Great. Oh, you do the movie where there's sound in space. There's not, though, because it's a vacuum, right? Because it's a vacuum. Have you looked into that, sir? <laughs> yeah, there's no Somebody noises. should advise you on this. <laughs> I love that. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so. Hey, Craig's back. Craig's back. Yeah. Wow. You'll, you'll know this. You know how much I've matured in life? Uh, you you her, walked out of the bathroom hands? and said, do you know how much I've matured? <laughs> I fought every fiber. To not have my dick out my fly. That's not as I growth. That's not. <laughs> no, that is it's growth. a little bit. It, it's a little bit growth. The fact that you had to fight. I fought it. What are you for Bruce you? Bruce Banner going for you. Oh! For you. I was in there and I'm like, I should do it. I should do it. I should walk out here. <laughs> That's how we get like, demonetized. Every part of me believes everything he's saying. No, I'm, telling, no, I'm, telling, the I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. I was in Chipotle the other day. This is just an observation. I was in line at Chipotle and I was just hating life because I was painting. Because you were in line at Chipotle. Well, yeah. that That's too. True, yeah. My wife and I were painting online. a wall in our house, and you know, like that takes a day. That's a whole thing to do. You have to, you know, tape, and we're just exhausted. And we're like, let's just go get Chipotle. And we're, I'm standing in line. She's waiting in the car. It's ungodly hot. And these two guys in front of me, they're probably like mid-20s, and they're just hitting each other in the dick repeatedly. I've been seeing a lot of this going, lately. Saying, quit hitting me, faggot. And I... <laughs> you're, the, you're the faggot. And I wanted, to, I wanted to say something, but instead I was... Ve- this is maturity. Well... In the same way that not mine is out, too. In the same way that coming out of the, not coming out with the bathroom and your dick out. The guy behind, I didn't say anything, but the guy behind me goes, "Just fucking kiss already." <laughs> and I just went, yeah. <laughs> "Yes." I've been seeing a lot of youths just hit Ooh, each other. But I, is but that I, back now? I guess no. I will it's not that it's back. It never went away. It's an age-based thing. Right, I, no, I Mike, never did that. Mike Thomas won't I get this far because we're at over an hour. I'm sure, but I yeah. hit Michael Thomas in his pills so many times <laughs> with yeah. many different things. <laughs> yeah, and it extended beyond high school. It and went to college. He crumples like remember those little things. Oh, he remember those little figurines. The best, the best dude that gets hit yeah. is Mike Thomas. Those little figurines. Those you push the, you the, need you push to push the, the thumb on the bottom and they just collapse. Oh man, I hit him. Obviously, barehanded, all oh, that. God. Hit him with a little Mets baseball bat a couple times. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man, bad. I mean, he got me back. He hit me. That was an eighty. That was an eighty six World Series uh, Mets bat, I believe. We had a very interesting relationship. You would just hear the. You would just hear the exasperated, just like, <laughs> and then <laughs> just, just because he's a big guy, just a thud. Yeah, uh-huh. he's not graceful. No. no, that I don't think it's. Not, I, it's I don't not, look at Mike Thomas and go. It's a graceful it's like right if there. he was held up by a string, like by yarn, it's just like a marionette puppet. So you just <laughs> cut it and he just folds. <laughs> next time you see him, just give him a tap hello. <laughs> What's up? I uh, can't wait for our next wedding. So you've oh, Mike, grown. You're gonna go. You've matured. <laughs> Underused device, just tap and say hello. <laughs> so awful. If a small child thinks I don't, that they're going to say I don't hit him me. in that anymore. We grew past that. I like that he's... I've grown past it. No, but don't... Maybe you weren't one of the guys that ever did that. I get that, but Uh, I was. Did you do that? 
I didn't. I avoided no, the sack tapping. Yeah, I never. That was I, never. The, thing. the thing that was big when I so was just a kid, me? just you. The we kid, did the circle game. How many dicks we did have the you dart touched? Game. Wait, the How circle game. How many dicks have you touched? Look, I yeah. thought you meant Is it more than one? Nope. Nope. Okay. Is what? it more than one? How many dicks have you touched? Dicks have I touched? Like that's a touch. If you tap someone's dick, that's a touch. I mean, let's back up. Have I tapped someone's dick? Yes. 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 The answer is yes. You did I do it routinely? Full life, one time. Probably. Yeah, you. Everyone's done it. But yeah. not. It wasn't. I did like it to Debo like not long ago. Right, but you did. Wait, when I'm you sure. say you guys I'm do sure. it like you're doing it once and stopping, like you don't just keep like <laughs> you don't keep doing it, right? No, obviously you go to and then you. And then you yeah. And then okay. You, okay. Okay. You ease the blow. You yeah. ease it. That's how you say sorry. Yeah. No, now I can't. It come took back us. It took us almost an hour. My wife to will think there. I'm on the DL again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a common thread in our relationship. She saw one episode of Oprah and she's like, "You're not on the DL, are you?" I'm like, "Well." The disabled list? <laughs> the down low. You don't know about this? No, they don't call men, it the disabled list anymore, by the men, way. What, what, it's what, the injured what, list in baseball. How do you not watch Oprah? Anymore. I don't Circa watch Oprah. 2007. No. So there was this series she had about men on the down low. And this specific one was a lot of African-American men, but the whole concept is that there were married guys that 10, 15, 20 oh, years in the relationship secret. ended up being gay. Yeah, yeah. So this... Oprah, thanks for nothing. Put deep fear in my wife that any man could be on why the down your, low. Why wife is your watching Oprah from 2007? No, she's not. She had watched it then. Uh, but it was she so found impactful. an old TV. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah, so yeah. impactful <laughs> that she now has that worry. Like, uh, what you said That's was kind of Is that a real worry? For of her, hers? it is. Really? That she thinks what? I'm sucking cocks in free time, <laughs> baby. Just. Wow. I, that says less about you, more about her. I like that. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. You know what? See? Turn She'll it, never get turn this it. far. Put it on her. Put it on her. That yeah. Whole, Why that dare you? You screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you it's so not insecure? It's because I suck six dicks. It's not that. It's <laughs> not You're that. You're insecure. You're like, why isn't he sucking my dick? <laughs> I mean, that's a real That's a real insecurity she's got. Now now it's an official drunk drawer. Yeah. We talked about Craig's wife's dick. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We yeah. did, we did. We made it. It took because a strong, a strong, hey. a strong clitoris could be a dick. You know what? Okay, could be a dick. it can be very close. Could Real talk. Dick. I'll drink to that. Oh yeah, go on. <laughs> the we need, get Dr. Drew in here. Get him on the line. Young lady, I was with before I was with my fiance. Don't do it. She might listen to the whole episode. Listen to it. Her clit was so big. <laughs> how big? Was, it was, how before? big was Jarring. it, Pat? Yes. Okay. Immediately before now it I was know. big. Like a mozzarella stick? <laughs> <laughs> but I'd fuck with that. I'm I'd just, be like, what do I do? What I'm do I do? Just, do I, I'm just do I just things. do I nose it? Do I fucking come is in it, like this? It, what do I do? <laughs> is it bigger than a school eraser? Wait. Yeah, oh definitely. Are you talking about like the, the rectangle eraser? No, yes. no, he's talking yeah, the end yeah, of the pencil. Like, yeah, no, I'm talking I'm talking like the big the square ones. Yeah. Rectangle oh, a thumb? Ones. A thumb clip? I've had a thumb clip. It was, it was a thumb clip. <laughs> but, but now that we're talking about vaginas, can we talk about, and you'll know, but we'll know that we're not going to name names, but we're going to talk about extra stuff that comes the, on vaginas. What were you pointing you at me for? about? It's not about you. It's you, about, we know, we know similar people. I don't know what, I'd rather, <laughs> whatever's going on here. I'd rather put the pause on. They won't it. listen. <laughs> oh, that's not it. That's not the issue. Because somehow it'll come back. <laughs> Sam made me do it. Let's <laughs> just not. You want me to Wait, sketch but it? No, I'm very, no. I'm very intrigued I'll, now. I'll, what are we? What are we? How about, about this is a car ride conversation? Fine. <laughs> Damn it, I'm I'm intrigued Fine. now. <laughs> not everything has to be around a microphone. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're not right. You're so wrong. In 2019, let's not put it out there. Fine. Fine. We're talking about my mom, right? <laughs> I had sex with your mother. <laughs> no, most. I think we talked about this on the last episode. The most awkward conversation I've ever had in my life was when I sat across from Craig after going to a strip club at, where his sister worked. Yep. And what? not sure if his sister was there that night. We and weren't. then we, we did like some math and figured out she wasn't. And we were like, we could be friends now. No, the worst part is I have seen my sister naked yeah. unintentionally. At that strip club? Mm, no. So this will date me. I'm, I'll be 35 this year. God, you're so, so old. Yeah, it's rough. <laughs> it's, you can see it on the video. It's rough. Yeah. So go back. 
but you mm. work that well. Like I, oh, I've, I've very, always said thank you for when that. I this you don't is mean officially that, but thank gone. You. I do, I do. When this is officially gone, I'm just shaving. When my he head. keeps it, when he keeps it tight, it's right, a good yeah, right. Keep it tight. If I keep when it low, it's, it's good. When it's when it's not tight, it's bad. So if you go back in the computer age far enough. Dial up internet. Let's get. Let's bring everybody back to that. You may not even understand what that is. Know, everybody, know. everybody, we're, do your your best mode of impression in three, two, one. Wanted to go there. All right. But how many of you were fighting against it definitely that? Peaked. Furiously oh, masturbating. Sure. Because your Wait. jewel nude photo wasn't loading appropriately. Not me. Why jewel? I, I, Why the Inuit guy? I got nude I was photos in the jewel. My space. And she has several nude you were, photos. You were in Inuit jewel? <laughs> I was attracted to her. She's she an the, Eskimo. She had the sharp teeth. I was yeah. into it. Jules. But her teeth are so Hey, bad. Craig, when you're doing teeth. that, who's going to save your soul? <laughs> Who will <laughs> save your soul? <laughs> I sound just like her. Yep. You are the same. All I was going to say is that I had a porn problem <laughs> when I was younger and my parents found out. That's when, all I was going to get to. Doesn't when Craig make would make the, the story about cracking your sheets? That's a different no. issue. When Craig it. would jizz, he'd go, These hands are not my own. <laughs> my hands are all I know. They are not yours. They, they whack my mine. hole. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Had to go there. That was beautiful. I don't even forget where I was going, but I was telling you about my porn journey. So glad. We forgot where you were going. <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna go there because, like, you. I react. don't even know. I don't even know what no, the next you thing was. Fucking no, you fucking know, Sam. Yeah, you know. You were his roommate in college, so you know. That was a different time for me too. Yeah, that was. When that you was just walked out Craig, with your dick. Yes, a, a Craig. Craig, he, it's true or false? You see my dick. I've seen. <laughs> not only have I seen your dick, I've seen you in the absence of your dick. I've seen you do full it's silence. Of the lambs. That's a compliment. Oh, yeah. That's a com- oh fuck yeah, you gotta tuck. If you're not tucking and then showing your friends what you don't have, you're not a you're not a real guy. How do we? This how do we know? This, how do we know? <laughs> this is what it would look like if I had a vagina. Just <laughs> yep. It didn't look good. Nope. Yeah, we had some weird times at Riverwind. Yeah, oh, I don't know why you're gonna put the complex on blast, but yeah, no, but that's where we lived. Where yeah, all I know kinds of it's weird where stuff we happened to me. That's yeah. not a good place. It, yeah, no. Where, is it still around? <laughs> yeah. Everyone was yeah, next, to, Gr- but uh, that's, next to uh, Meridian. What's incredible? Yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah. yeah. What's, I, we live there together. What's yeah, remarkable okay. is that we, th- three of us, me, Craig, and Mike, looked at each other and went, this place is good. This place is great. I feel so we, safe. Yeah, we were naive. We're so naive. That place is a dive. Somebody knocking? I got my own bathroom. It might be. Let me yeah. check. Did so you get your own bathroom? Good for you. Riverwind was a 4-4 setup oh. with the communal kitchen. No, 4-3. It was 4-3 because I believe Mike and Damien shared a bathroom. No. <laughs> no way. I think so. So I had my own up there. You had your own and uh-huh. they didn't? I believe so. I don't. That doesn't You've sound right. You've said bad things about Damien to me in the past. Damien, Sam and I go way back. We nope. go back to the collegiate times. We're coming up on we're coming up on almost 20 years. It's 17 crazy. or 18 years. It's so years. stupid. Yeah. It's so crazy. We're getting old, but... We we lived together at this place where the th- there were three of us, and but the rooms are four bedroom okay. and maybe three bath. But that, I do think it's a four four. That but can't maybe be right. Not. My math is terrible. It's if it's, more a, like, if it's a college, you're a Jewish. How dare you? It's a four four. He's wrong. He's wrong. Yeah, Everybody yeah. got their own bathroom, but no, no. three of us came in, and then we got placed with someone. And Ooh. who we got placed with was Damien. And he embraces the full extent of that name. He is what you think of when you think the of devil. that name, so the, devil the devil child. Yeah. yeah. But he and I bonded. Because <laughs> you, you guys were up at three in the morning. Correct. You know. So Sam and Mikey are who they are still to this day. You know what I mean? They're like they want to be in bed by ten fifteen. They're going to be up early. I don't mean that in an offensive no, way. Fuck, I don't but care. I am not that way. And you guys, no, so, you know it. Maybe I know. you don't. I, I, I know. I, yeah. I even think I perform well at night. I'm creative if I'm not under the influence or whatever. But Damien and I, Damien exacerbated the influence. He'd come home with a 24-pack of Bud Light, and I would only get two of those. And he would get through all 22. To be fair, he was Native American, so he had, like, that coming. Right. It was built in. Built in. It is, but it's true. But, you know, racism comes from a real place. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of late-night times (laughs) and a lot of fun stuff that Sam and Mike weren't a part of. Yeah. We had parties that they slept through. I I threatened him. A lot. Yes, you did. Because I had the best bedroom, which was right off the door. You guys why all lived the, together. Why is that the best? Because you had to deal with the smell that came out of his room. 
No, but like everyone had to deal with when he would have parties, everyone had to deal with that, and that's what I had. Yeah, but I was at the parties. You were sleeping. (laughs) Who has a party? By then, I'd found myself and been like, okay, it was it was high school where I didn't know who the fuck I was. Yeah. By college, I was like, no, I do like. See, that's the problem. (laughs) That's the problem. I like. Well, I should say I found myself. I knew who I was as an adult. I became an adult. You early, just been like a, you and David 15, Foreman. Yeah. You've been an older Jewish man. Vibe. Yes, yes. I've you been an old Jew David. my entire life. Now I'll, I'll open up a wound, a personal wound. Oh, I don't no. even know if Sam and I have engaged on this, but what? So let's let's bring it back. Right, we're in two thousand and four, three. We're living at Riverwind. It's me, Sam. Craig, we've literally gone over this on two separate podcasts. Oh, the pain you brought me? I think that we definitely went over it last time. Let's bring it up. No, we don't. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. (laughs) No, if we did. Because I remember going, wow, Craig, I didn't know that. And you were like, oh, I I did know that. And I drink it again. Because you hurt me so bad. Yeah. And (laughs) I apologized last time. Let's roll tape. But they they don't remember it either. Did it even happen? What? He fucked me big time. That's what happened. But unbeknownst, did I fuck you? I did not realize. It was more Mike Thomas than you. Yeah. Mike Thomas, best friend in life, was over me at that point. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm really putting okay. it on you, like you're that. him, yeah. and you were you were wishy washy as to Thomas. where you were gonna oh, what that's you were true. gonna do. So it was me, Sam, Mike, and Damien, right? Right. Love Damien. He's I go friend. on a ah. sex trip, which is what I used to do. Sorry, I'd go to fucking Tallahassee. I, I like that he apologized. Right. He didn't actually apologize. Well, because though. that's how I got fucked. Yeah. I was fucking, and I got fucked while I was gone. She that's goes to school happened. in Canada. You don't know her. No, it was just Tallahassee. It was Iowa. four hours away. While I'm gone, Sam and Mike Thomas conspire against me. Bring David in. You know, I wasn't even in fucking town. Fucking David. David. I wasn't even in town. David. Are you going to defend yourself? No, I'm just... I'm not... That's not a defense. That's just a... That makes it even worse. I was out of the city, and I was that doing That could be true. I don't remember it well. Yeah, I was in but Coral Springs. Actually, he I will say, hurt. spoiler alert, hurt. there's a happy ending to this, but... As Sam and Craig are sitting at the same table... Drinking drinking a bourbon. And no, the other two people are... Business. Our, our oh, yeah. Relationship. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. Got very good. Very they got good. robbed. Well, that was a bad part of that it. That was a but bad part of it. <laughs> what I mean is that I, I don't know that I would ever live with him if it didn't happen this right. way. So I'm gone. I'm in Tallahassee. And we had been Hummer all girl? talking... That's who it is, right? Hummer, What's that? Hummer Girl? That's, that's No, the one... No. Okay. Yeah, different one. All right. It was the one. Uh, eh. <laughs> Don't worry, she ain't gonna listen. <laughs> now, so she's, you're now she's gonna. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it's it's disrespectful that you call her that, but it's that's my bad. That's my bad. I sold the story wrong. Right. She had a very nice vehicle, and that's that's what, really no. That's where, that's where my brain went because I know. I know. A uh, very important person in my life helped me grow to a new level. That's true, but. I'm with Hummer. friends of mine. I'm with Sam. I'm with Mike. I'm with Damien. Just, 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 just. Polish it off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with Damien. It's for him. And they sign a lease at a new apartment, Sans Ooh, Craig, while okay. Craig is gone. Craig is in That was the name of the complex, Sans Craig. <laughs> Sans Craig. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you don't have to deal with this anymore. And and I will, in all fairness, maybe I was You wasn't. took Damien with you? No, 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 no. It became Sam, Mike, and David. Uh, I took I took his I took his uh, speakers. They took tra- speakers. I took those. <laughs> they traded. They fucked that guy. <laughs> they traded me and Damien for David, which in the full scheme of things, I trade. get it. It's a bad I trade. don't. <laughs> I was welcome. I lived with David. I was welcome at your place, and I yeah. spent a lot of time over there. Yeah. It's that in the in the short term. I was burned, and you're right. We did cover this, so I feel bad about that. That's the drunk chore three is a redo. It's a callback. Fuck it's a callback. that. We exactly. We call it a callback. Yeah. You gotta listen yeah, to yeah, number two to get. Because I forgot. Right. It's fine. Hey, I forgot. There so. were times well, where my feelings were hurt. Well, something similar to this happened to, to me and Josh. Us. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You I guys knew you, Damien. I talked yeah. to you about this. <laughs> we knew Damien. <laughs> Yo, we live with Damien. Let <laughs> He was uh, so weird, whoa. ladies Damien and gentlemen. My Damien, life. Damien, is in the <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! I'd actually be very, I'd be so upset. Have you looked him up on Facebook? <laughs> no, good. I, I don't know his last name. I hate Nobody him. did. <laughs> Damien shitstain. Damien god. drinks a lot. <laughs> did you like him enough to know his last name? No, no you fucking. How, wait, how long did you live with him? One year. One year. Okay, that's enough time to learn his name. I don't think I saw him four months. 
Oh, like, definitely. If, if, if I because saw him at all. Because he'd come from home, home from Hollywood video at like 10, 15. You're already asleep. Hollywood I'm video. up. And he brings the beers, and I started sucking them down, and we're playing NCAA. There were also weeks where he didn't come home. That's true. Yeah. But somehow this guy pulled, like, mid-tier vagina. It was impressive. Just vaginas, which is so weird. <laughs> right. Where was he get, getting <laughs> whole <laughs> vaginas? It's, it's called a this, pocket this, pussy, this, Sam. <laughs> God. Oh, my God. He was ahead of the time. Sidebar, very funny video of a guy doing an unboxing video for and a review of a pocket pussy. He goes, but it doesn't really fit in your pocket. And he's putting it in his pocket and walking around town and like trying to put his change in it. And he goes, the lube didn't help getting my change out of there. It, it's incredible. We'll have to watch it when we're done here. That's hilarious. I'll watch that video. Yeah. That was that was great. Yeah. yeah. That was great. But yeah, something, similar situation between you guys. I yeah. talked to you I talked to you about this and you were like, something like this happened to me prior to Oh yeah. Yeah. And so Josh, me, and Mike Spillane and his lady were all intending on living in a in a place. And my stipulation was I want my own bathroom. Yeah, I was like, important. I'm, I'm a grown and I man. I also wanted my own bathroom. We are we are grown adult men. Valuable feature to living space. Who were and we were both seeing people at the time. At the time, different people than we're currently seeing. Right. But regardless, but like we're not going to do four people to one bathroom. One bathroom, right? Especially if it's like, it's a bad hey, fit. It's let's terrible. all go out tonight. That's how people used to live. I don't. Not about that. I don't understand. We're not, peasants. Not about that. We're not yeah, farmers. Exactly. I'm not a. I'm not a peon. You've used that word that way. twice tonight. Yeah, I've been trying to get it in. When do you use peon before? Do you have a word of the day peon. calendar? No, I don't, but I peon. should have one. It's spelled <laughs> P-E-O-N, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so weird. I played Warcraft. I know. All right, fine. <laughs> nice. Regardless, so we were going and seeing houses, apartments, this and that, and we couldn't find something that worked in the budget uh, for a 3-3-4-3 three, three, three kind of situation. And now, you put budget in quotes. Are you citing that? Wait, yes. <laughs> it's MLA, not it, APA. Thank you. <laughs> Chicago style. Exactly. Their There's reason for jilting me was not budgetary. It's because you're a terrible person. It's because they were I ahead of the curve on my problem. I, <laughs> <laughs> and I've, I've talked about this in the past. I don't remember being like, fuck Craig. I don't it think was that was like it. It was never like that. It wasn't like that. It was and like, I know that is now. he going to? I don't know. Hey, Let's just quick. We got to do this now. Fun fact. It, we're ahead of, we're ahead of Mike you. on his problems, too. Regardless. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. One day we saw a house. They weren't about it, and uh, Josh and I. But that's hung how back. I do it. We hung back. Uh, that's a weird thing that you're doing right now. No, let's let it keep going. <laughs> His technique is 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 a. I know six. three women that like it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Out of how many that you've tried? Two on? of them are dead. Eleven. Eleven. That's a low success rate. No, it's not. Three. I 11? think you got it wrong. I'm three of eleven. That's about twenty eight percent. That means I'm I'm good. That's, that's still low. That's very low. According to that's what not metric? Passing. What metric are you talking about? The pass to fail method. Sex metrics are not pass fail. Do you know a C is seventy? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not A B C D F is not what I'm doing what are in you life. To get at? Okay. I'm doing. You either get it or you don't. Is that the get only it. thing you do? So if you get it three times out of ten. You got it. Is that the only thing you do? No. It feels uh, bad. Uh, it. If uh, I get it three times out of ten, I'm feeling bad. Yeah. That's a low success yeah. rate. What are you doing? Batting average? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that matters, though. Will she leave me? I mean, what are we doing? Tune in, tune in next tuned. time. If, if, if she thinks you're gay, maybe. <laughs> she does. <laughs> and maybe it's got, because the way I do it is. She's got uh, empirical uh, evidence. Uh, uh, to support Fuck. that, I've been doing I've been doing head wrong. Well, to be fair, if it's a clit thumb, you can do it. It's fine. It's the same thing. She doesn't have one of those, but there's a girl I know that did. <laughs> if she's working with a circus peanut down there, <laughs> oh god, bring that candy back. Gross. To be Is fair, that now, candy? what would you call that? It's a candy. To be fair, the first it's time a marshmallow. Surprise. It's like a marshmallow. Yeah. Marshmallow it falls in the candy category. The okay. first time her yeah, and I had why it, why is it in the baking section? I was section. very surprised. What? It's not. At the, at, I've peanuts. never had a circus peanuts or the candy section. Before. We're, we're oh, having it two. Yeah. This is a very oh, different yeah. conversation. Let me tell you where I get the it's circus weird. peanuts. It's weird. I didn't know what to do. It's like, how much testosterone do you have? I was like, this could be the head of a penis. I didn't know. How big was this clitoris? It was pretty big. It was pretty big. I was, like, I was, a was it a girl I know? More than this? that. Yeah. More than know. this? You've seen her. Yeah. No. It was more than like, that. When aroused, a little bit. A little like, bit. When aroused or when not aroused? When it's aroused. Too it's too big. When oh, aroused. Okay. Yeah. That's. Is it near the um <laughs> the falloculum? Is yeah. that a? I don't know yeah. much about anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Craig just got very serious eyes in making that sound. I don't. Because yeah. I could make that come. <laughs> that, that bourbon cork. <laughs> That Josh goes, do it. it was, he's like, do it. <laughs> Heard you it won't. Happen right now. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Heard you won't. Hey. How hey, many thank times you for that. in college one did my you hear moments. Craig Brooks have sexual intercourse? Not even a full no, one. No, I don't think once. Not even a full one because he was the room off. It was we my room. We shared a wall, though. No, Mike Thomas yeah. and I shared a wall. Nope. Mike was. So if you came down that little hallway, Mike was to the left, I was to the right. So that would mean your room was right here, my room was right here. Oh, that's even more wor- embarrassing for yeah. me. <laughs> so maybe I don't fuck hard enough. No, no, I don't think you had women's over. I just, I also slept really hard. I had the big, I think I had the bigger of the four rooms too. Then I you made. are right that you were on, because yeah. I did pranks to Mikey. I didn't do oh, to you. Oh, God, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I talk about those. I talk about Craig's April Fool's pranks on Mike Thomas every single day. April Fool's Day. Yeah. Since then. I we were in a, that's we're how in a, memorable they were. We're in a perpetual truce, but we did some things to each other. Did you have was my crazy or did you have that notarized by a, a notary? I don't think we did. I thought I for for whatever reason I we felt had, like we went to it, it a got notary. so bad with the saran wrap the car and the I killed a bunch of his fish and all you that. Killed- like all of the fish. <laughs> Murder? Oh, I heard about that. I heard about that. It was I not that one. on purpose. No. Okay. It was Go accidental but them? still. No. no, he sprayed baby, baby powder, powder under the door. And it, and it, ru- the it rose day. up, hit the fan, and then covered everything in a thin layer of powder, which of which course... Which is a good great prank. prank. Great prank, great prank, because you'll never get rid of it all. But <laughs> no, he still I powder has up, baby powder and some shit. I powder up every day, and my whole bathroom is just covered I in I fucked up his layer. shoes. I put shaving cream yep. at the toe of his shoes. Like I did a lot of stuff because he started it. Yeah. But Craig also merciless. said, I don't want to do this anymore. And you said... I do. <laughs> well, but back then. For like 10 more years. Back- <laughs> I've, by the way, I have a great idea for a movie based on all of that. And it's. it's Is it called Tag? Like Tag? They already did it. No, you're, you're- Tag was Tag was scratching the surface of what it. I want to do. I did too. But Tag. I like is- Tag. Ta- basically, the premise is a guy wins a guy wins a huge Powerball and devotes every penny to ruining his friend's life. I love that. Uh, yeah. Pat that, that, he it. That, he that resonates with me. Yes, yes. <laughs> Let's write is it, it. Is it a friend tonight. he hates or a friend he loves to hate? No, uh, that resonates it's, with it's me. It's a little bit of both. I okay. would terrorize Mike Thomas if I had a lot of money. Right? <laughs> yeah. No, the I truce would. would be off. No, it's not even like that. It's just I would fuck him up. I would fuck him up. I would do some stuff. He wouldn't be hurt. Like physically, but like mentally, his brain would be big. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would, I would set up. I know what he's not. I know his fears. Like he's my best friend. Like I know it. And if I had endless money, my whole life would be setting him up to see his life would be a Jenga tower in constant trepidation of falling. That you would be like, I'm just gonna take this brick out. What's the big deal? <laughs> he he big doesn't deal? know how many birds. There are, but I'd bring those birds. Harpy eagles. He's afraid of birds. Oh, okay. okay. So, like, I know that, and we're very close. So you give me money, like, if all my businesses go well, Mike, you're fucked. <laughs> because I'm putting birds on you. Albert, Albert Hitchcock could not conquer. I'm going to train many. birds to find you. Yeah, he don't like birds, even, like, cool birds. He's not. He's You'd, not like, let a cassowary cool. into his house, like those really demonic raptor birds. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, the dinosaurs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he'd get weird, like, shipments and stuff. Like, like it'd all be fucked up. He'd open it up and it would just be a bird. There was a co a girlish scream. He's not cool great. with birds. Like I, I know we're joke. He's not cool with birds. There was a coworker it's years bad. ago that we he was basically our Dwight. We were teachers. Oh my gosh. Um, we pranked this guy all the time, and it started being it started, you know, we'd gift wrap everything, we'd cover everything in baby powder. Then an uh administration got involved. They were like, This is fun. So the head of the school was like, let's pretend that he you're all getting bonuses and he's not. Oh right? No. And like we convinced him that he we were all going out meeting for some reason Henry Kissinger, which was like his uh, role model. We mm-hmm. met him. We were gonna meet him on a boat. We were gonna go take this boat into the Bahamas. Who believes that? This guy. He's very gullible. Uh-huh. Dwight. 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 Yeah. Dwight. Dwight. He's Dwight a Dwight, Dwight before before the office was even out. And then uh, it started to become more psychological where I started convincing him that he was a robot. Yeah. We started having the kids all in on it. And then I started measuring his classroom without telling him why. (laughs) And then I started – I sent the school paper, all these little kid reporters in to ask him questions like, are you allergic to shellfish? What shampoo do you use and how often? (laughs) 
and like just random and he was like yeah. he would answer them yeah and they'd be like and occasionally the kid would write like get like really disappointed and write like a little bit and then get really excited and write a lot and he was like well, why are you writing him. a lot he's like don't don't worry about it this guy was, it's fine it's fine this guy quit teaching <laughs> so that's fine he also <laughs> Killed himself in 2017. No, I don't know about that. Because of you, haven't haven't seen much of him, but well, because he killed he, himself. Because he killed himself in 2017. Oh, Damn. there's a correlation there. Your yeah. joke was bad. I wow, <laughs> bring all the energy down. <laughs> That's my uh, my sophomore year uh, English class made a teacher retire. Okay. Mm. In one full year, she was like, "I can't do this anymore," yeah. and straight up quit. And I was like. I feel like a bad person. My brother and I uh, got a woman to have a nervous breakdown while she was subbing. <laughs> wow. What and here's do? here's the fun button to that story. A lot to handle. She came to trivia. What? Here in Orlando? Here in Orlando. I didn't Watch go to school it. in Orlando, so that's even weirder. Yeah. So she's she, following you to kill she you. She was like, I think I know you. And I'm like, I definitely know <laughs> yeah, you. Oh, I know your face. I fucked your can life you, up. Can you lay down like this? Oh. <laughs> That's what's crazy about the trivia is I yeah. see people from my past. That's how we got reconnected. I know. Trivia. It was just I know. randomly bumping into each other. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. So how long did you guys not Well, it's not, that we, it's not that we no. weren't like, keeping contact. Yeah, because we kind of were. We text every now w- and then. What I referenced earlier is we did go out to visit him. He was living yeah. in L.A. Mm-hmm. and we went out to see another friend and then he showed us around the man's theater and all these things. So we remained friends through college, which is kind of funny because yeah. the way we met was through another person who I yeah. don't think either of us are friends with nope. anymore. Nope. We met through a third party that we were both close with at the time. Right. Yeah, yeah. I and went then, to high school with this person Craig met correct. separately. And then eventually we were like, I don't oh, think we need this guy. It's a He was a polarizing individual, yeah. right? Okay. He was a polarizing individual. And we both, there, there was, the relationship was there for a minute with this individual. And then... Sam and I, I think, became an offshoot uh-huh. of it. And honestly, I don't know if that person liked it. We were like a good second it. season. We like yeah. found our, the show found its stride. Yeah. Right. See, no, right. for real. It's kind of crazy because yeah. my falling out with him, I don't know how well it aligned with yours. I don't know if it was in the same time frame or not, but right. he knew him longer. But my right. relationship with him was like intense. Mm-hmm. I was, I knew his family. I dated his sister. I don't know. I, Did you date her? No. But like right. whatever yeah, that means, I, I my mouth was on her mouth for like a week, and that's all whatever Which is that means. Weird. Yeah, yeah. It is weird. It is. I'm weird. not proud of that. I'm only saying like <laughs> it was so intense for so short a time. Yeah, yeah. I had met you. You were like college. What's happening? Uh huh. No, for <laughs> no, yeah, it, no really, really. It was so overwhelming, and then our friendship prevailed out of it because. It had some realness to it, right. which was the reality right. of it. Yeah. And then he fell away, but he fell away for you too, which is kind of funny. But what Craig, what you were good for was like saying, was getting me out of my dorm because I didn't yeah. realize I was an introvert until freshman year. <laughs> Craig has <laughs> until said that I didn't so have, many times. Until I did. Well, that other person was like my only support network at the school. And I was like, I don't have friends. And then Craig came along and was like, hey, I'm going to go do this thing. And, and then and I'd be watch like, sure. me be drunk at this thing, and then people yeah. came. Yeah. yeah, no, but we people it is, still. I, I we ended up that. taking classes now we have together. A no, but I look it. at yeah. that as like, wow, the way we met was very different from the way we are now. Oh yeah, and we we met as ancillary units to that friend. Sure, that is literally how we met. I know we had that class together with JJ, yeah. but it, we met through Jim. You know Abrams? what I mean? Like it, that's yes. how it was. The same. JJ it's Abrams. crazy. Like, Jage. You don't know the people that are going to matter to you in life. You right. know what I mean? Oh, and yeah. I value this friendship because it's been a long friendship at this point. I remember yeah. when you guys, it was at TAP, I think, right? When we had just started Oh, tap. the reconnect? Yeah. 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 And you were like, oh my God, I saw my friend, like one of my roommates in college, Sam, and he's like going to work it was for us so now. Cool. And I was like, okay. It was so cool because- Yeah, you were like, hosting. I Was I hosting? I think you were hosting. Sure. That sounds right. Yeah, it was cool. It was like a full circle. Like, oh, okay, I can be a real person. I don't have to be this character. Right. Because honestly, in in college, I had not found myself. And you know this now. Right. Right. You know, I was just shooting shit out there because I didn't know who I wanted to be. Few people do. No, but I mean, I think anyone listening, both of you can relate. Both of you listening. <laughs> <laughs> you, Craig, you, you in person, the future. 
Uh, you, no, I, I honestly, I, I had no clue who I wanted to be. I was always reaching out for a reaction, just trying whatever to get a reaction, get a reaction. We if do that now. Yeah, but to no, a lesser no, degree. No, to a lesser degree. I wish, I wish you could see what he's talking about. Yeah. And it's not like, I'm not being, no, being meant I, to like poke fun at you. I know. Sam, I, know. I mean, but, like, but I, I have an idea. I know what you mean. Sam, I, I know, I know like, what you're hey, talking about. I'm not me. proud of it. To better understand Craig a used to walk into his room with his dick out. Just to see what would happen. But now he's grown. Yeah. And, and now that doesn't, doesn't do that. It's true. It's true. I had to figure out. But I know out. people that still do that. <laughs> and they're successful. And their name is. No, no, I, I tried to be more honest is yeah. all I tried to if be. If Mel's in the room, the dick's out. No, well, because she'll get there. <laughs> she'll get there. <laughs> she'll make it right. But, but the, to bring it around, though, the friendships that you make and that stay, to me, are valuable. You're moving. You're mm-hmm. leaving, right? But yeah. we know each other. Yeah. And we've had some good conversations. And I'm not saying we're the best friends. We're not. But we are friends. And right. I, I value the conversations we've had. So if I go out to Denver one day yeah. and we connect, I hope it's similar to when years ago you were yeah. back here. Yeah. There, there, that's what's cool about laying the correct foundation. But you saw me when I was laying the incorrect foundation. Sure. Luckily, you were able to see past that. You knew there was something beyond... I was putting up walls, right? I was. I was. Well... I was putting up kind of facades of like I like want to chain be link fences sure yeah. because sure. you could see, you could see through, through it, it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, that's it a good, that's good. A good, no that's a good it wasn't but it was me like trying to keep it, you can scale sometimes. it but you're gonna yeah, get yeah. your nut sack caught on the top <laughs> thing and I did oh. I don't like that's that like and that no nope, nope it's a bad vision I can say that like that's a thing when I moved out to California you were still someone even though you were busy with building trivia and stuff you were always someone that you know once every couple weeks you were like hey just want to make sure you're doing good. Have you have you seen JJ yet? And I was like, I've seen him one time, and you were like, that's so cool. Yeah, I mean, I when when I create a friendship, or I, I feel like a lot of people are like this. I don't mean this just for me. But it's like, not. I definitely choose, disagree with that statement. Oh, all right. Well, I think you are you are much different than most individuals. Yeah. Friends to me, there are there are concentric circles around friendship, mm-hmm. and I think not everyone looks at it this way. But if you do that in your life. You can create very appropriate separations where they're supposed to be. Right. But also, who do you invite in? Yeah. Who do you who do you let know all the scary things, right? We all have this this onion kind of level to like right. our own psyche, our own mentality. Who gets to know you, right? And mm-hmm. some of them get to know you in a in a frame of your life where you weren't who you want to be. Sam got to know me early when I don't think I was the best me, and I'll be honest, I wasn't. And some people you know still even know that about me. Right, but right. some of them got to see that I tried hard to be better. Yeah, and I think those people today will acknowledge that as well. And that's I think cool. That, that's I don't know that, but that, that's cool right. if they're but, even willing. And that's not why you become a better person. You become, no. You become a better person because trial and error and, and because, it, you know. Well, you have to want to be a better person too. Right. It's not something that just happens. It's a big thing. Yeah. I, think, I also think that back to your point on friendship, I think that it, for all of its shittiness – Facebook is is terrible, um, but I think that it allows us. Like I've I've run into people that I haven't seen in eleven, twelve years longer, and know everything what's going on in their life. And I'm like, oh my god, this is your husband. So nice to meet you. Or this is your child. Hello, child. There it's are benefits cool. to that. You're now sure. you're now eight. Right. You like spiders. Like <laughs> it's just crazy. What's wrong with it, you? What's wrong with you? Why do you like spiders? You fuck. <laughs> Get out of my life. Um, I don't want to know you. It's wild, though. Yeah, like, no. The people for, for that for that like I've there are certain friends. I was thinking about Colorado because you're moving there. I have friends that live in Colorado that I haven't seen in a decade, but are I still consider like in that inner circle of friendship. Yeah, yep. yep Nothing yep. necessarily. I reached out to one today. That. Right. I, it's I not totally a bad that. thing. Just, if you like, like how Mike Thomas and I are, how bonded we are. I could. I feel like I could go to uh, Port St. Lucie. Is that mm-hmm. where he is, Stuart? I feel like I could go there today and grab Mike and go have a drink with him. Because, oh, it's beyond that. Not only know? that, they would just set you up and you could stay there. Right. Exactly. Because that's you. Exactly. And, right. Yeah. That's what I mean. There's friends. And in I haven't life spoken to Mike. Way. I haven't spoken to Mike. Like honestly, like sat down and spoken to Mike. I couldn't even tell you how long. But that, it isn't like that because of the fa- the foundation was built correctly. Right. Right. There there's there's so many ways we meet. I people. will say yeah. that that and being in education, kids today don't know how to do that. They don't form no. connection. They don't form friendships well, like that. And that's so my my best friend in life 
just got married in April, at the end of April. And we Mazel tov. Oh, thank you. Uh for him, I guess. Uh soon we for had, you. Yeah, soon for me. And he's gonna be the best man at my wedding and I was the best man at his wedding. And it was so we get it. it. You have friends. It Jesus was, God. Christ. I have friends. Fuck you. <laughs> I have, His dick's not even that big. I have friends. It's not that big. There you go. Nah, yeah. A little closer. closer. It still sounded pretty resounding. There. Thank you. <laughs> and Thank you. segue. Uh, so it was. It we had. We've seen each other two times in the last. I want to say ten years, maybe. Right. And he's lived in New York and Missouri, which are two very different places. And I've seen him. <laughs> He came to visit in. <laughs> <laughs> he came to visit Orlando when I was in school, and then I went and saw him when I was going across the country to move to California. So I've seen him literally twice in the time yeah. that he's been with his now wife. And he reached out to me and was like, "I want you to be the best man at my wedding." And that is one of the bonds in life that I mm, I right. still continuously call him my best friend. He's been yeah. my best friend. We've been best friends since the you, sixth grade. You didn't know this arc of this episode was going to be about. I friendship. didn't know that, but it's, you didn't know it's that. pretty it's weird. cool. It's weird. It's what it is. Thanks, Thanks Keanu. I value you, Thanks, Keanu. Keanu. I value all Sam. Of Keanu. You're okay. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Fuck Pat. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like I get. He's I here. Get that. I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't even know. I, uh, I I get that that friendship thing because I hadn't seen him and it, it's been since I lived in uh, since yeah. I moved to California since I've seen him and then you I saw him this a couple times I didn't know you moved to California where did. where and when uh, here's what's crazy I actually forgot about it even though I was a part of it he was a part of it I yeah. totally forgot about Interesting. it when were you there I was there in 2011 so when, when I left when Great. where were you he had an opportunity with a production company I did you did what I'm sorry say what again I was in Lake Ilsenor he had an that's, opportunity. That's about an hour out of LA. So here's what happened. He got an opportunity with a production company run by J.J. Abrams. Was it video uh, it, was a, it was a it was video company. Yeah, yeah. It was offshoot. It was an offshoot. J.J. does a lot of work with them, and I I decided. Oh, J- to, you and J.J. Me and J.J. He and J.J. They went. <laughs> me and J.J. Oh, 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 I just oh, call him J. Uh, actually, we're we're, are you one J? are one you J. in fact the bad robot? Yes. Oh, <laughs> we broke it here, folks. He's not. Oh, he's not. No, I'm, like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, here, not spoiler not. alert. Didn't work out. Didn't, didn't work out. out. <laughs> here I am in Orlando. We're best friends. No. It's like, uh, but yeah, I, I lived there for three months and then uh, I was unhappy and the girl I was with was unhappy. So we moved back and I Well, was, she would be unhappy if she had a, you know, circus peanut. She for was. A... I mean, you know, her clitoris was pretty big. No, it wasn't, though. What, is she, she was, the circus peanut clit? No, she's not. No. Everything was twit for her. It was oh, good. I know who he's talking she, about. Her, the cool. friction there, caused, <laughs> the friction there caused many fires. If in only she County. wasn't crazy, she could have had this. She is crazy. She could have mm-hmm. had this. There's a lot of those yeah. out there. She could have had it's this. It's a hot crazy matrix. Yeah, and she was far past it, which is a shame because she was very pretty. She's very still very pretty. But I don't know her anymore. You, uh, <laughs> she actually reaches out to me like occasionally, and I'm like, no, she's still not a good yeah. look for you. It's don't not. answer like, those. I don't. I leave it alone. Yeah, yeah I'm don't. like, no. Don't. I was like, I'm engaged. I mean, you learn from my crazy, too. I, oh, not my respond. God. Do you want to talk about a little bit of that? I saw you with two, talk, I talk about about two hotties recently. Oh, those are just friends, though. But are they, though? They are just friends. One oh, of them, one of them well, is in a, a long-term bummer. relationship, and the other is a is my buddy's sister. Oh, which I know, uh, like, Does that mean you can't before. fuck her? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Does is that mean you can't? There's no rule. There's no rule against it. But it's also my friend's ex-girlfriend. You should fuck her. I'm not gonna fuck her. But they were hot. Huh? They were shit. very hot. They're very pretty ladies. Not the one that's with another. You guys, guy, you guys one. talk a big game. Uh, high school me, college me is like, you should make her a mixtape and then <laughs> hope that she speaks to you at some point. You should walk Sam, her to class. Craig, and then Craig stand can there. stand that's by much the fact. More like me. Craig can stand by the fact that I've done too well for myself yeah. as, so, a, as so an true. individual. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But my look wife at, looks at me and she goes, "How the." Fuck! Did you survive? I was about to. Say, I wonder why she doesn't say, "How'd you even get me?" Yeah, because well, no, she because, thinks it. Because she no, because she knows. Like I, I'm a different person. He's you are, her but Michael she Kane was impression. so social back then. Yes, and we you talk were about so it. not. We talk but about that. Your, how funny it is. Your paths, our trajectories. Are it was so very funny. interesting. It was yeah. very like how, cloud-like. How old were you when you met? Uh, oh, so the, we've well, known, the I've, meet and the and the relationship. Tell the story. Super spread out. I met Super her when I was out. in college. I knew okay. her when I was in college. I knew she was graduating high school. So because okay. I, wor- I worked at her high school doing like some side, you know, uh, uh, 
coaching for the team. And he team. foolishly got me involved and right. broke several hearts along the way. <laughs> um, so, But she went off to college, and I kind of kept in touch. But we actually got together. We met up again when I was in Orlando at... Five years later. Okay. Yep. So that was okay. When did Up come out? Ten years ago. Oh yeah. God. Yeah. yeah. Like that, that was the summer. Know. The summer Up came out. That was our first date. She that, and I. Oh, that's a terrible date. That no, movie no, no, is so great, sad. Great date because What's she saw so crazy? this guy is sensitive because I blubbered the whole movie. <laughs> it's so, they met so many years before. <laughs> yeah. That, though. But we met what, like five six years before that. Yeah. So we were we've been dating. Now we're married for we're married two years. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been dating. We were dating for like five or six. I say we've been dating. We've been, we're going on like 10. You know, just the joke. But you knew each other even uh, before that. That's what I'm saying. We're they going on like 10 years. met like 14 years ago. Wow. Right. But the foundation right. didn't get like, if we're to use a fishing reference, like the hook didn't get pulled until like six years after that. Right, right. That's yeah. what's so cool. I love your story. Whether Oh, I, yeah. I yeah, do. I really do. I like it's your journey with Steph. And her, her, but yeah, like you said, her life before meeting me right. was very different. Because I know her was. a different way. I know her through her best friend. Right. Has she and seen your penis? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has. Yeah. We I, talk about it. It's pillow talk, man. <laughs> We're like it's like, like a you vanilla, bond over. It's like a vanilla tootsie roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a door jam where it goes fwang. <laughs> a little spring loaded pigtail. There's no other way to answer that than yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was non sexual and I don't know how to explain that to right. you. Right. <laughs> we can't we don't even need to get into me and her interactions the way they were, but what's so good. I feel is, like now we do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. You know the stuff. I know the it story. Was bad. He would we like. He v- would like. She'd be peeing, and he would walk into the bathroom and just like touch her knee, and be like, "Why am I touching you while you're peeing?" <laughs> that, that did happen. Yeah. So what? Okay. <laughs> I love your wife. Right. I don't. I love, love her Michael Michael as your wife. No. I, Michael Caine is so bad. So no, bad. I love she's his got way, wife. She's got way worse too. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Sam's wife, Mrs. Weitzner, we go back to a different place. We had a very brother yeah, sister yeah. relationship. Yeah, it was a very non sexual relationship. I know she would agree with that. Right, and just to go back to the original, she point, never saw you as a sexual. Not object. a chance. You were a, you were you? a lamp. No, to her. no, it was, was literally it was an object. You were a ficus. Um, <laughs> What she was, was like, what is this piece of wood doing? <laughs> going back to the original point, it's just really funny. As any of our listeners will know, life... All tens all of All of you. It will go back, it, life has these funny concentric circles. It really does. That kind of... Because I had to fight to even, even matter to her anymore. Because honestly, without going too much into like every little thing that happened, she had a very good reason to not care for me. Right. A really strong one. Because you would touch her while she's peeing. Didn't, not well. even that, but that is a good reason. <laughs> that definitely helps. That should be reason enough. Very good reason not That's to like foundation. someone. foundation. But she had a good reason, and not only her, but this is a credit to her, to her close friend, and to Sam. They were able to realize, like, sometimes you got to give somebody the, the, the opportunity to grow, mm-hmm. right? And we don't have to give everybody this, but sometimes there's people in your life that you decide are worthy. Yeah. Let them continue their journey. If I was today who I was then, I'd have none of these friends. So what's interesting is going back to like hour one of the podcast, you asked me about writing and jealousy and kind of the bittersweetness. I don't think I was in a place yet, like very similar to your – I needed to grow in that regard. I had never really been on my own before moving to LA. I had never really been – I don't know, just like I had never really faced adversity the before that. The safety net was gone. The safety net was gone. I had somewhat of a safety When the safety net was really gone was when, when Josh moved to New York to do Book of Mormon, and I was left in this apartment by myself. Which was really good, by the way. Which was really good. So good. But I No, but I had, oh, like... He does good work. I had, he like, does. the the meal ticket, so to speak. You know, the, the I didn't look at Josh as that, but I looked at him as, like, my one connection in L.A., my, my one real big connection. Bear claw. I, uh, it was gone. And I was like, yeah. I don't, what am I doing out here? It's got to be what tough. What am I just kind of spitballing? I, and so I didn't know what to do and tucked my tail between my legs and came back to South Florida when my finances ran out. But, and I didn't want to go back to teaching, but I did. And I realized by doing that, oh shit, I'm good at it and I like it. 
Um, but I think we all kind of have to. There's the oh, you can say whatever mantra you want about failure being like the greatest motivator or greatest teacher. There is truth to that, but I think everyone needs to get kicked in the teeth. Everyone a little needs bit. to get John wicked before I'm really <laughs> no, bringing. I don't want to be wicked. Your journey, I don't, don't wick me. I, yeah, like, I don't need. I it. like your journey a lot as a spectator, right? Because I knew you both separately, <laughs> right? Right. And whether I thought you guys were going to end up together, because I didn't. Oh, you're talking to me and my wife now. I am. Yeah. But I'm saying and that. And that was an interesting thing while I was away too. But was, if you would, is that. I'm not going to put this on you. I'm only going to say this for me. I don't have to say it for you. I, you will agree if you want good things in your life after. Well, now I'm curious. But if you told me I had to trade some things for the relationship I have, I would yeah. trade all of them. Because my wife meets me where I need to be met. Right, right. You guys strike me that way. I, I don't know your intricacies, and I, I'm not there when you're talking alone. But I love you together. Yeah, I love you together so much that it doesn't matter how oh. it how it got to more there. bourbon was brought out. That's more not whiskey. bourbon. That's whiskey. That's, That's whiskey. whiskey. It's Capital. So like I, your journey is like so uplifting to me. Well, thank you for that. Beca- no, I mean that though. I mean like I knew you guys very separately. Right. But there was such a togetherness in it, and you know what I mean by that is like our our paths were so mushed up. Yeah. yeah. But. How you guys got together had nothing to do with that. Right, right. It's very interesting. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, it does have something to do with that because the night we were like, oh, my God, look at this person, was we had gotten out to dinner with you, Reggie, and Mel. Oh, that's funny. Uh, and then at, separately at, yes, I know that went night. to know a that bar night. and we're like, look at this person. Look at that. She's pretty cool. It's and just, I missed every signal that she was throwing my way because I was like, like, who cares? Who cares? Because you figured it out in the end. Once. Yeah, you I did. You figured it out. You you scored a winner. I don't think I, ta- I, I there was not a day after that that I didn't talk to her. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just weird. You it's both weird. ended up better than you thought you'd be. I I'll be honest with that because I know who she did moved to L.A. But like I know who guns. she dated before you. Yeah, not good. Yeah, and you're at a you're at well, a fucking you very high territory. But your paths, it, you guys won't appreciate this because you didn't live my life, but. I saw them both in these in these clouds of existence that really only banged up against because they had a mutual friend. Mm-hmm. That literally was what it was at the time. Yeah. yeah if you go yeah. back far enough, Cliff yeah. and all that. Yeah. And then it's just the whole thing changed. It's very strange. It's very strange. But cool. Very oh, cool. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So how does she feel about like you still writing and doing stuff? Do you still have aspirations to like do Hollywood things wow, and right stuff. We and... really managed to pull this back to the beginning of the episode. Yeah, we, we, um, we did. Do I still have aspirations? Of course. Uh, that... I still want to write stuff with you. I think it would be super fun. Yeah, man. Same. Um, I actually, let's let's put a pin in it. I want to come up that idea that I had earlier with you. Yes, uh, I love I'll, that. I'll pitch to you when we're done here. Absolutely. Um, just pitch it the, on the um, No. <laughs> <laughs> They'll steal Sam's it. not that guy. The... Um, yeah, I I work with some friends via Google Docs. We write a couple. We're writing a couple of uh, treatments for stuff. Um, that's been very rewarding in the sense that like I can do it. Like it's fun. Like I don't care. Like they care. They want it to go somewhere. They want to quit their jobs. I'm on the like. I'm on like the. Hey, I'm creative. Yeah. I have a friend that lives uh, that I taught with for one year. We taught one year together, but we were instantly like best friends. I I officiated his wedding. Um, you have to pee again? Uh, it's he bad. broke the seal. He broke the seal. It Look, happens. there's no liquid in there anymore. There's no, not. but I there's, also there's have in, imbibed, and I'm fine. Look, Craig, if it makes you feel better, I also have to go to the bathroom. Cool. We can so go same. We're gonna so we're gonna talk. Cross the streams. You gonna you gonna sword fight? Um, finish oh, yeah. it, Craig. Finish well, it, Craig. What was the initial question? Oh, whoa, whoa, Get me back on track whoa, here. Whoa. Uh, it was. Do you still have aspirations? To yes. Do the Hollywood yes, thing I do. And, and, um, I think that it's 2019. That I'm right. <laughs> uh, it's 2019. You can send in a script from everywhere, from That's anywhere. Uh, I think that um, I have that too. Yeah, I still have the drive to want to do it. Well, just I think because that, I love being creative. It, that's what I was just gonna say. I think being creative is important. It's you so need great. an outlet. Um, for me, honestly, trivia works. I like. It's almost like doing stand up. It's exactly. I, I yeah. attest that to it all the time. And so is teaching. Like in a weird way, teaching is like doing stand up. Uh, you have to like prepare material for forty five minutes. You got forty five minutes, kid. Forty five minutes. Yeah. Um, you know, you've got uh, you've got a active captive audience. 
and uh, with with history specifically, it's like teaching. It, you're teaching. You're telling stories, and uh, I find that some days jokes land, other days jokes fail, and I'm like, damn it, you know what? Let me let me workshop yeah, that for me, next let me, year. Let me try it again. Which is so. It's really funny. I listen to a lot of uh, comedians talk about craft, and I find like. Holy shit, that's how I teach. Yeah. It's just so weird. No, I get it. And when I told that to uh, employers and bosses, they were like, that's not good teaching <laughs> practice. You shouldn't. I disagree as someone who... who and so do I. Has, been yeah. in, has, has done a lot of schooling and, and, and that... I've always resonated more with a teacher who could connect with me in a, yes. in a funny way. Yes. And well, even more so that makes you care about the material. Yeah, of course. And if I could... If, if I'm looking at it like if I'm telling a... a tragic story i'm talking about the holocaust or whatever i really get the kids invested emotionally in it so that they understand if i'm talking about something if it's like the industrial revolution and that's a kind of a throwaway thing where it's it, i can be funny yeah, yeah i'm trying to find out what jokes land but even with the the serious more somber stuff i'm like what worked what connected what landed with how did, who was connected who wasn't um, so it is. It is really like being. It is being creative. It is channeling that storytelling aspect. Um, God, we need to write is something. It, is it stupid to ask? Only because this happened to me. Yeah. That. No, it's stupid to ask. You're. A I won't do it. Idiot. Yeah. I. I. You know what? You could say that ten times over, and I'll never feel. <laughs> I it. love you. That's just not <laughs> I'll even, never feel. You know it. that. You know. Craig and I have a bond now. You're one of the funniest people I've ever met. You're very creative. If. There, there was, was a time. There was a time when people said, "Oh, you're so creative." That I thought that was like a four-letter word. Like, "Fuck you." I hated being called creative. But now I'm like, "Okay, what I <laughs> yeah." That's there's fine. a choice in life. <laughs> sometimes you 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 have these abilities or you don't or whatever, and you have to you have to take your journey as it comes, right? Sure. You have a wife. I do too. Check. All right. No, what I'm saying <laughs> is, would you? Or can you even? I'm not going to swap, but go on. It's not a swap. All right. It's not a swap. Not interested. Her second I'm toe's not gonna too kill, long. I'm not going to kill her either. Her second it is too long. too long. It is too long. It's like a finger. Tell her I said that. Michael Caine. <laughs> well, it's Michael Caine and this toe's too long. But <laughs> what is that? <laughs> but your journey, right? Yeah. If you had to trade fame, fortune, whatever, to make sure... This is the person you're with. How many times would you do that out of ten? I'm, I'm not sure of the question. I, I think you're so asking. So if you could, yeah, if which, you could which trade, would I take what you my have wife now my, for fame and fortune? Would I, you do? I would never take fame and fortune. Over Me neither. Her. But that's what's so interesting yeah. because I think we're not in the majority. I there. also don't think I want fame and fortune. I don't want. Like fair, let's say, let's fair. Say be YouTube famous tomorrow. Somebody actually posited that. He question has said to me. that a thousand times. Josh is like, that. I want to be YouTube famous. Fuck because that. the other fame comes with too many. I don't even want to be YouTube famous. Well, you want. I don't f- want to be any kind of famous. Me I know neither, what fame I'm, entails. D- you well, are a servant. You're to never people. alone. Correct. You're never alone. And you're never alone. Isn't never that alone. so interesting? You have a different perspective because you know people. I'm a very outgoing introvert. Introversion. I say is that not, a lot. Introversion is not. I need to be alone. Introversion is I'm constantly worried what other people are thinking, and I'm constantly thinking about what yep. other people are but thinking. But don't you benefit from knowing? I'm exhausted so- at the end of the day intellectually because I'm like doing mental chess all day long. You know that the fight. I love people that are playing. Some checkers. of your friends. I also don't know how to play chess. <laughs> <laughs> some of your friends are fighting a fight that everybody wishes yeah. for. Everybody sure. dreams for. But they don't know the work. I would tell I would tell those people they don't know the work. They don't know the those game. People, you they don't know have no to play idea it. what it's like. So I'll give you an example. Money's going, cool, but it isn't everything. Going to Disney with Josh is is a very surreal experience because on the one hand you're going under Disney, you're seeing the underside of things. You get to go behind the scenes. People take you where you shouldn't be. You get to go in the tunnels. Yeah, you do. And the other side of it is you're stopping every five fucking feet because people are like, I just saw you in the in the motion picture and that's, I've got to take a picture with you. That's the reality. Your life's My not your own. My son doesn't know that you're the snowman, but that's fine. We're just going to take a picture. Can I take a picture with you? And you're like, I'm, I got to get out of here. That was so yes. good. Thank you. So no, but spot on. The, the, the real though. It really is though. No, it's you, absolutely you real. You trade. It. You trade. You get millions of dollars and you trade all of no, the rest. No, and that's all I, your time. 
You're trading your time for money. And yeah. your and your security and your privacy and all those things. I get it because I Your I've, name is no longer your own. I've been friends right? with you. Right? Yeah. I've been friends with you long enough to understand. Like like Craig in, instilled this in me in early he was like, You're gonna you're gonna see people that are that are famous in downtown Orlando because that's the only place to go. So you're gonna see people and, and like it's, Ja Rule. Ex- <laughs> Me and Ja Rule are tight. <laughs> I almost invested in fire, but I got out quick. It's, <laughs> I had to suck that guy's dick, though. It was weird. You provided all this dire from containers. At it meals was. <laughs> it's it's so crazy. That I did the cheese sandwiches actually. Yes, <laughs> they're so bad. It was something that I've taken so far in my life that that people are like, oh my god, like I saw a, to to. A very small collective or, of Orlando, but I saw Dom Dwyer and Sidney LaRue at a Target. And to Orlando City fans, they'd be like, oh, that's so cool. They're so great. And I, I went up to them, and I, I shook both their hands, and I said, I'm a huge fan. Uh, you guys we are awesome. We get it. You go to Target. Jesus, I go to this Target. guy. Yeah. Big God. Money. And, uh, what are you trying to say? And I was like, you know, you know, you guys are great. You're great for the community. You're awesome. And I and they were like, oh, great. We're glad you're a fan. Thank you so much. And then I said, you know, thank you guys for everything and walked away. It, it wasn't a picture thing. It wasn't right, a right. it wasn't a stop everyone and scream, right. you know, and I've, I've learned that from Craig. Craig was the person who was like, just they're, they're just people, man. Oh, Josh has said to me, he goes, you he said to me once, you are the single best friend I can bring around celebrities because you don't. It's not that I don't care. Tell your Adam I Levine story. Ha- Tell it. <laughs> the Adam Levine story was that I didn't know who he was Tell and it. asked him. the best. He <laughs> said, the best story. He asked, quote, he said, like, I'm in a band. And I said, oh, like, what do you sound like? And he said, like, Maroon 5. And I said, and he said, yes, just like Maroon 5. And I said, oh, like a cover band? <laughs> and he said, he said, no. Like we're like we're band. Maroon Five. I'm in the oh. band. <laughs> Nobody's the grabbed band. my leg in a "Don't say the next thing out of your mouth" way harder than Josh has ever. He grabbed it right there. He was like, "Stop! Don't talk." What year was that? <laughs> that was so the voice came out. I think like the next year. So you're yeah. the dumbest. That was person. a couple years ago. <laughs> so, well, no, like the fucking billboards weren't out yet. But then he's I saw the not billboards a pop culture made all Adam the Levine time. Is so well, he's he was pretty pop. before he was, then. He was, then. He was no, the he wasn't. Man he alive. was on those skin care that commercials. Point? Not That's, that, you're no. all talking after this the was voice. Like, this was like, on the voice for... Four, when did the voice start? Fucking nine years ago. No. no. Yeah. Okay, nine? well, he did 13 years? seasons. So That's you ten? figure that out. Well, that makes sense, yeah. Because he just left. All right, so maybe okay. I, maybe I'm off in my map. Maybe he was famous <laughs> at that point. What? I mean, he was famous. In all fairness, Maroon 5 had already hit. I'll give him that. Yeah. But he was not voice... He wasn't, like, picture famous. Like Voice famous... That's really good. Please Adam stop. Levine, folks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Levine. Hey. Only. Hey, so much work. Here we are with Adam Levine on What's that? 95.7 The Fuck. The, the Fuck. I don't know. Fuck. You got to wrap this up. I got to leave. This is why you're not I on have radio. people in my house. You, you, had, you had to leave five minutes ago. I do have to leave. No, you meant 8.30 in the morning. Oh. 8.30 you know a.m. You know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> um, so where were we? We could wrap it up here. Adam Levine? What? No. You met um, him? I no, didn't. but like they are celebrities, are, his people. celebrities are people. I think that uh, I will tell one quick. They're all people. Famous yeah. person story. No, do it. The dogs. Don't you dare name drop. I have to. Do he it. Has to. Look out. Here it comes. Meta. Is it going to be Bryce Dallas Howard? It's not. Fuck. It is now. <laughs> I went it. to see. I went to see. Um, Iron Man blunt. two. What? Iron Man two. He met Mickey Rourke and he sucked his <laughs> <No>. dick. <laughs> Bunch of, bunch of friends and I met up to see Iron Man 2, and we're at the Arclight Cinema in L.A., and in walks Topher Grace, who is joining us. Is he famous? Is he? I don't know. Topher Grace you, is how famous. How dare you? Topher's He's great. He's a good guy. He was Venom. Christopher is so, well, a good person. It's funny that you bring that up. So we're at the movies, and he's... Just sitting there watching the movie with us. He played David Duke. And we get up, we get up to leave, and everyone's kind of like, "Okay, it was fine. It was good. It was." This is the start of the MCU. Yeah, so it was really the beginning. Know it was early. It was early. And I'm like, I enjoyed it. And he goes, "That was the single worst comic book movie I've ever seen." And I go, "Really coming from you?" <laughs> and everyone went, "Oh shit!" Everyone got real. <laughs> silent. Is about to fight Sam. And he went. Fair. And I went, okay. And he was like, I, he was like, it was like a acknowledgement that I like you. That was cool. Remember when Tobin Wire You'll be honest. That movie? 
Remember what he did dance. He did dance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take me home tonight. That was his movie. He was in that movie too. Yeah. He Eddie Money. Yeah. He was in that movie. Topher's movie. And yeah. yeah, yeah I actually was, like that I movie, that by the way. I, yeah. like that movie. I think I saw that once. I think I'm I actually a it. big Topher fan. He's Topher's like Topher's great. Topher's Closet great. Topher He's always fan. Eric for me. Yeah. Yeah, he'll always be Eric for he'll me. He'll always be dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> you dumbass. Uh, you know it's short for Christopher? I don't approve. Yeah, Topher's bad. You go Chris. It's not good. It's not. Yeah, <laughs> you it's go definitely Chris. Chris. You know? I, I mean, I guess it's he's stood out. Hey, so. but then again, he's living in the in Hollywood Hills, and I'm not. Yeah, should have gone by Topher. He should've has gone a by Topher. few million. I'm gonna call you Topher. You have Please. maybe maybe a fraction of a million. I've never seen a million dollars, of course. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Ask he Josh. Has. He can. He, he can. He'll, I don't know. He'll, yeah. he'll withdraw. Oh, I know he has. Yeah, well, that Olaf money is retarded. Olaf money is ridiculous. Think well, you'd think. I'm dropping a bomb tonight. Uh, oh, Josh Gad gets fucked by Disney. Well, no. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know about that. I just, I know Josh that. Josh Gad fucks Disney. Josh does well. Uh, I think that, I know for a fact that, and it's not from him, it just, you know, in researching and whatnot, Disney uh, is notoriously cheap on the front end for your first movie, and then they, like. Yeah, but he's in they, two. He's in the holiday special. Sequel. Yeah, but they lock you in. Correct. They, that's good. That's being like a good business person. Like indentured servitude. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, it's, it's, they'll really they'll sign you to a contract. Disney's really smart. They did it once Marvel got all involved. They did it with. Oh, they did it with Pixar in the 90s. They locked them in and said, if you have a bad hit, we can. if we have a bad movie, we can drop you. Right, but if, they figured it out even with the MCU people. They figured it out with Downey, Evans, yeah. and then yeah. it got away from them. Yeah. After the first couple of movies went well... And down he signed on for fifty per picture. They realized, oh, we should kill him off as soon as possible because <laughs> he's couldn't. due fifty million a picture, and they yeah. couldn't. Yeah, but Until... you're right. They, they're, they're so not... if you ask me, fame and fortune over my wife, I don't know. I don't if know. If somebody offers me downy money, I might be like, fuck you, <laughs> <laughs> bye. It's so hard to find a person that's she gonna would, be cool she with you. She would say to me, she would say to me. Fuck you in a heart. She would. Yeah, but she's she right would. about that. But that's yeah. the, she's that's right about the right kind of woman. That's the woman you want to be with, put, though. Y- you with $50 million. But she million also dollars. knows that I would be like, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's the funny thing. Is that I'm like, I'm if, like, If well, you were promised honestly, 50 mil and Mel was like, no, Money go. doesn't change who you are. Money no, doesn't. That's true. It exacerbates who you are. That's Correct. exactly true. Money it's doesn't like super change soldier your serum. Yeah. Except it doesn't give you muscles. Listen, no. You already have muscles. Money doesn't change your personality. It does, though. Look at You look are at, uh, who Chris you Pratt. are, motherfucker. That's true. He was super fat. Now <laughs> I gotta I go. wish. He just I'm lost weight. He did no, lost weight. No, he put on muscles. He, right, he did put go. muscle on. Yeah, you gotta go. Yeah, I'm getting So let's wrap up. this up. Oh, you have to drive him, too, don't you? He's yeah. my ride. Because mm. he's... Mm. Why'd you become a sling blade there? You mm. got to mm. mm. French fried mm. potatoes. I'm sad about this and him. This was good. This was fun. Yeah. Like, I wanted to go for another two hours. It got real. It did get real, it but I like moment, that. Yeah. Drunk drawer sometimes needs to get real because we're intoxicated. Yeah. A little yeah. buzz, yeah. I'm a little buzz, yeah. You're fucked up. I'm fucked up. <laughs> Cuba's going to have so much fun. How many fucked drinks up. did you have before? Only three. Only three. Two. Okay. Four. Well, he, was making, he was making business deals in my car before we left his oh, house. So he's that sounds drunk. right. Right? I, will, I will support you. I agree. I appreciate that. Anything you need. Anything you need. Do you want me to float you? D- <laughs> I'll be an angel investor. I'm here to write with you. Listen, I want to write we don't stuff. know Mark Cuba. 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 We, do, we Mark do know Cuba. Mike Cuba. We know him. We know Mike Cuba. We don't know Mark Cuban, <laughs> but we know Mike Cuba. I couldn't, think of, I couldn't think of which was which at first. I was like, <laughs> I know people with money. <laughs> I know Hispanic sounding people with hey, money. Hey, you don't even need money to make money. Is what? money the main the money? I gave you money, give me money. money. Give me money. You, I gave you money, give me money. I want to write something. We should write something. Yeah, I want to sure. write I'm something too. Yeah. I'm available on Skype and or Trello. Nobody I, wants to be friends with you. You're Trello. leaving us. I'm no, right there. I'm right there. On the Josh, are you right there? Leaving us. Are you right there? Like, are comment, right subscribe. There? Any, 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 any. Be any, any. angry at Josh. Just Put like, your comments in the in the bottom part in the comments, and you just yell at him. And tell us your favorite thing you hate about me. What's your favorite thing you hate about me? I just cool. lied to my wife. Me too. All right. Well, see you all later. Bye. What? Bye. Was there a format? No. no. Fuck no. Junk drawer is never a format. Yeah. Bye. Down it. Do Dope. it. Finish Fucking it. Fucking do it. Finish it. Same. 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 Finish it. Same. Finish Same. it. Finish it. Oh, Finish it. Do it. Go. I'm so proud. Oh, we are I'm men. like a proud papa. Oh, so the idea I have. Show me.